like bottom three. So things have changed a lot in the time span, and the game's a lot more balanced now. So you, I highly doubt that you'll even see a junior in top six at all. So Nate, you have to press start. Very different. Looks like we're starting up right now. Mm -hmm. well, let's see what character choices we yeah. have. And of course, you can uh, switch up your controls. Got to remember that sometimes people play on their default like uh, switch for so long that they forget. Mm -hmm. Oh, I set controls a really long time ago. You know. Right. Yeah. Now, regardless of who wins this match, I gotta say that winner for best dressed has to be at Sushi. Yeah. He's been rocking that get up for the whole tournament, and he looks fantastic. Alrighty, yeah, the, we got the PD. A very well-represented character, actually. I remember a lot of people were excited for, for that character when they were coming up, so. Oh, yeah. Alrighty. A lot of dedicated PD players, and we are seeing the Rosalina from Atsushi, so Rosalina is more of a defensive character. Um, the slices that she has curves, so JJ's gonna have to watch out for that, but she also has a bit of power to her, so we're gonna see how that affects the match, and here we go, starting on hardcore. Yeah, I'm just making sure I have the... Uh all right, there we go. Yeah, so Atsushi is going to be the Rosa, and yeah, uh, JJ. Okay, they're already starting off with a drop shot, it looked like. Yeah, getting first serve can be a really big help because if you get it at a nice speed, you gain a little bit of meter, and meter is everything in Mario Tennis Ace. So you're going to see that usually the character that has the meter advantage is going to be the one scoring the points. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, so both of these two racking up the meter, that's going to be your first lunge. That's when you don't quite get into the range of the, the character's uh, like normal hit. Oh, that's really bad, actually. And you see right there, he, she took advantage of that positioning, knowing that if you went across, you're going to have to burn some meter with that trick shot. Exactly. PD, unfortunately, has one of the worst lunges in the game, so you're going to see that giant monster fly across the board if uh, JJ isn't careful. Yeah. All right, trick shot. Perfect trick shot, actually. If you time it correctly, then you do get a lot of meter off of a trick shot like that. And here we go. We get the special in. Yeah, as you can see, special shot, you can aim it anywhere on the court. And just like that, it gets it right by him, right over PD's head. Yeah. Um, even if you block it, you do get stun properties. So it can be good to force your opponent to lose a lot of meter for about half of your meter and change. Drop shot uses a little bit of meter. We do have zone speed as well. It slows down time so you can position yourself better. It uses a lot of meter, so you do have to be careful. And we got another special in. Let's see if Blue JJ can try and respond back with a point because Atsushi's kind of rolling the ball so far. Yeah, and I'm interested to see how he blocks it. Not able to. Tried to predict it going backwards. Um, some, if you can trick block a shot, which means that if you hit it with a trick shot, you will gain no stun properties. So, and you also get meter off of it as well. So yes. It's the most optimal way that you can stop a special shot in the game, and it's also pretty hype. All right, a drop shot. Yeah, just going to go ahead and try and take that. Drop and lob, that's going to be a common strategy you see, trying to make them go up and down the court, depending on the character's up and down speed. It can definitely hinder or hurt them. Yeah, PD's definitely one of those characters that gets hurt a lot by lobs and drops because his forward and backwards momentum is slower than his left to right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. another special coming out. It looks mm -hmm. like JJ has tied it up. Yeah, very nice angle too, especially when you want to be in the front of the court and use your special shot. Then you can get some nasty angles. It makes it pretty much not worth it to go get it. Yeah, most players will use the gyro scope ability in their controllers to aim it at crazy good angles. So even if you try to trick shot it, you won't be able to reach. Yeah, it's basically like if you see people like kind of letting points go, it's kind of the same thing as in Smash where, because I know we got a lot of Smash players in the audience, where you kind of just like accept that sometimes you'll get hit with percent. This yeah. is kind of the same idea, basically. Yeah, letting a point up is pretty much letting Joker do his standard like 50% or Peach doing her 70 sometimes. Yeah. All right, buddy, here we go. Just doing some flats, both of them gaining some meter. We got the rally on 30 so far, and I got a max star shot. Yeah, gotta get that slice. Yeah, it's going to be harder for these characters to get the ball past each other just because they're such big bodies and their shots, while strong, don't really have too much angle to them. So that's why we're seeing a lot more special shots coming out because that's going to be the way that most of these points are going to be scored as we see again with that sushi. Yeah. I'm not so sure if like the strategy has just changed in a couple weeks, but I'm seeing a lot more specials than oh, I did yes. way before. Usually uh, players in NA do not use special very often because they like holding onto that meter to use for uh, trick shots. But recently in this tournament, they've been using a lot more specials as they find that it's one of the best ways to score against these Japanese players. Yeah, I mean, it's, uh, it's just a way of like different play styles in different regions. It's very interesting to watch, which is very important for like the development of the game, obviously. Absolutely. Uh, J Japan and NA and also EU have very distinct play styles. And it's mm -hmm. Be great to see them on play today. Yep. All right. Continuing the rally. Neither of these two really making a mistake. A lot of the times, especially in the mid to low level play, a lot of mistakes are made. It's like, oh, I didn't know my range or anything. But these two are immaculate players, so we're not going to see any like weird misses anytime soon. Yeah, I don't it's going to take something big from both players usually, and you'll see this in tennis a lot. Um, characters move up towards the net to try and make more of a play to stifle their opponent. So you're seeing JJ kind of do that now, but has to back up because the lob is the best shot to use when your opponent is going at the net. 
Okay, trick shot. Yep, had just enough time. And this is what you kind of want to work for, like getting them into a vortex where they start rapidly losing meter. And then in this case, um, using a special on a lob actually gives you the best possible angle. So this might be a point for Blue JJ if he gets it. Yeah, and he decides to let do. it go. Mm -hmm. Now it's like she's going to start with a lot more meter this time around. So PD's going to have to work a little bit to try and get it back up. But we're just giving them free shots. So yeah, max charge shots, that's going to get a lot of meter back for them. Right, and you'll see that they'll stay at baseline. And that's mainly due to wanting to build up their meter because mm -hmm. it gives them a lot of time to react to whatever shots. And like I said, both of these characters don't really have strong angles, so they don't really have much of a reason to leave baseline other than trying to make a move like JJ is right now. Yeah. Alrighty. Here we go. And man, you can see just the strength of those flats. And ooh. ooh. So in the MTA community, we do call that a Jimby Tech based off of the Peach player Jimby. Uh, that is <laughs> when you read your opponent and hit it at them, and they try to read a trick shot hitting it at the other side. And in that case, that's who she fell for it. Yeah, especially when they're lunging. It's pretty much like calling out a panic option when they go to trick shot the other side. So right. that can get a free hit right there. Yeah, because sometimes your first instinct is like, oh, man, I got to get this trick shot in order to stay in the match. And yeah. they totally call it out. OK, perfect block. Yeah, neither of these two letting up. They're actually moving up to T, so they're trying to push a little bit more aggression in no man's land right now. Neither? Oh, oh another very one. lucky shot for yeah. JJ right there. And also very lucky because now JJ has full meter and Atsushi's got to work to build it back up and another special. Yeah, that's pretty much a free point. No yeah. meter for Atsushi. So unless he pulls off an insane perfect trick shot or well, something like see. that. No, very smart, hitting it right down the line. No chance for Atsushi to get it. And this is match point for JJ. Yeah, JJ looking like they're going to get uh, point number one on the board. Of course, in quick play, you do have to get seven points. Yes. Or if it's a deuce situation, yeah, you have to win two more than yeah, your opponent. Be so. Best out of two in that situation. So if I'm JJ right now, I'll try to make Atsushi lose that meter. And then once it's low, uh, use a special to try and finish it off. Like, this is definitely not the time for JJ to do anything risky. She's going to want to keep that meter. Alrighty. Yeah, just the zone speed. Neither of these two really in danger of losing a lot of meter. Another trick shot. Atsushi's starting to lose it a little bit faster. All of a sudden, back down into the yellow. Got to make something happen. Otherwise, blue, JJ looks like they're going to try and get that first point here Ooh, that's in the set. Super strong flat. going to push him back. Has to use a trick shot. Approaching the net. And that drop shot calls off the trick shot. And it looks like JJ is going to be taking game one. Let's yeah. go PD Piranha. Mm -hmm. the, the horizontal range, or actually the vertical uh, range of the horizontal trick shots, not the greatest uh, for a lot of characters. So if you're not in the right lateral position, then it can sometimes be a free point, even though you think you're in the right range. Yes, there are four different types of trick shots, one forward, one back, and two to each side. So in that case, he went for a side trick shot when he should have gone forward. Yeah. Also, each trick shot actually produces a different type of shot. You'll see that side tricks produce slices. Uh, back tricks produce um, flats, and forward trick shots produce drop shots. The mm -hmm. only exceptions are for certain characters like Fire Piranha Plant, which every trick shot is a top spin, and oh, what's his name? Dry Bones. His back trick is actually a lob, which is crazy compared to a lot of the characters in the game. Right. And I'm expecting a character change here from Atsushi. Let's see yeah. what they bring out. We got a little PD dance going on right now. We got a Luma and PD dance going on right now, switching up the rackets. Um, switching up rackets doesn't change too much unless you are a tricky character in which the curves go a different angle. But we are seeing the Luma coming out from Atsushi. This is what Atsushi used to take down Jake in Heart of Battle back in February. Yeah. All righty, this is going to be interesting. Let's see. Yeah, and this is going to be uh, going on night court. So this is going to be faster than the hard court pick that we saw in game one. So mm -hmm. shots going to go a lot faster. And they're going to definitely go a lot faster. We're going to see with Luma. You hear that little jingle, that is a jingle shot. Um, if the ball bounces before Luma hits it, uh, Luma gets a supercharged shot, which goes super fast and has some extra properties to it. So yeah. JJ's going to need to be aware and position themselves correctly. Mm -hmm. Definitely encourages Luma to stay on baseline, for sure. Yeah, but also Luma just doesn't have the range, so he's going to be careful and have to use those trick shots well in order mm -hmm. to not lose a lot of meter and gain it back at yeah. a good rate. Alrighty, just keeping up with the rally. We got a max charge shot, a little bit of stun. Not too much to worry about for Blue JJ. And now something that is now in play with this matchup is going to be knockback. Since Luma is such a small body, PD has the ability to knock Luma back way, way far mm -hmm. if he gets like a supercharged shot and if uh, Atsushi were to miss a counter. But right now, Atsushi is keeping it pretty strong and both of them are near full meter. 
Yeah, neither of these two are really letting up. Of course, uh, a lot of the time, sometimes on the rally, you're just trying to see how they uh, figure out their positionings, what they prefer, what shots they prefer. You're gathering a lot of data during this downtime. Yeah, usually the first uh, few points are for downloading, and thankfully, uh, neither of these guys are losing that much meter because if you don't have a lot of meter at the start, it, the match can start to snowball. Yeah. And it might be interesting to see if that happens at any point in this top six mm -hmm. where a player might just completely overtake another one just through meter advantage alone. Yeah, neither of them really letting up. Okay, just going to go trick shot to the other side. Got plenty of time. Neither of them really making a move. Lunch. There's a big lunge. Let's see what he starts with. Okay, going to spin, force out a trick shot. Man, but if you look at that trick shot, just like no meter was lost during that. Yeah, an interesting thing right now, while Luma could go up to the net and volley a bit more to make uh, PD a bit more on edge, like I said before, um, hitting the ball before the bounce. Oh, there it is. Hitting yeah. the ball after the bounce get, does produce a stronger shot. So yes. it looks like Atsushi's trying to do that. But you see now, right as he approaches, a special shot comes out. Okay, got the block. This is a meter reset, basically. Both of these dudes are going to start off in the red now. All right, but now look at this fully charged shot. Let's see how far. Yeah, Luma getting pushed way back, but unable to capitalize is JJ. And a huge lunge. Look how far PD has to fly off the court. And that's yep. going to be the first point because of it. Yeah, that was a very hard fought point, but very great stuff to Atsushi. That was a very smart pick with the uh, lob shot too, trying to make PD go as far back as possible. Yeah, as you can kind of see, if they get that little sparkle on their racket, that means that they're performing a fully charged shot, and that's where the stun properties come in. With the lobs, you saw how crazy high and curvy they can become so they right. can throw off players and a zone shot coming out down the line yeah very rare actually you usually don't see the zone shots happen a whole lot they're very easy to block and usually the meat a lot of people say the meter is really not worth it uh for what you get out of it oh huge um trying to miss trying to get that charge and completely mis underestimated that range of luma yeah but it looks like they're not gonna be losing too much meter because of it oh but that flat's gonna be really strong yeah Atsushi's play, fl playing a little bit nervous. I, f I feel like I see the zone speed a lot more when he's not really in too bad of a position. I think he just wants to confirm where the, the ball is going. So he's still not losing meter, but I think Blue JJ is playing very confident so far. Yeah, JJ's defense, well, besides that lunge right there, has Ooh. been really good. Um, still staying and hasn't really dropped below green meter other than having to use the special, yeah. so, and, which right. has been really huge because PD thrives on meter, and once he loses it, it can be really hard for him to get back in it with his poor mobility. I hope you guys aren't tired of that little jingle sound yet. Yeah. <laughs> you can definitely. Oh, yeah. Okay. Look at how fast that top spin goes. That was a jingle shot, and there was nothing that JJ could do without losing a bunch of meter. Mm -hmm. You just gotta wait for that right moment and the the hole in the defense, and you just gotta take the shot sometimes, man. And it works out for Atsushi right now. That's right. And right now, it looks like Atsushi's being a little bit more offensive, uh, utilizing those jingles to great effect, and JJ trying to find where on the court. Uh, will best suit PD, trying to move up at times, trying to call out these side tricks, but also moving back in preparation for a jingle shot. Yeah, both these two. Yeah, not letting up. Okay, tries to go for same side. All right, not quite funny anything. So that's interesting. Atsushi is really not um, going after these side tricks because mm -hmm. after the side trick, usually you can try to vortex your character and make him lose a lot of meter. But Atsushi is um, choosing to stay back and go back to baseline uh -huh. uh, to avoid any mistakes. Ooh, a big pushback. Oh, actually tries to call out a Jimby Tech maybe, but not quite able to find anything. Right, big drop. Ooh, the big lunge. This should be, a, ooh. Ooh, right down the middle. I think maybe they're trying to catch like a blind spot on trick shot. But. Yeah, usually there is a dead zone with trick shots, especially side ones. But in that case, it looks like uh, JJ was just in the right position in order to get it. But we are seeing a lot of meter drainage coming from uh, JJ. So they're going to need to build it back up. Ooh, another big lunge. That's really bad. Oh, and Are they going like, to go get it? Yeah, it's going to oh, be a point. 3-0 yeah. right now. Nothing on JJ's side of the board. Mm -hmm. Every time Atsushi gets a point, you can hear the Japanese players in the back just rooting, <laughs> rooting for him. Absolutely. But JJ also has their fans. So. Yeah, very wholesome. Oh, and Ooh. calls out. Yeah, there's, the a, there's a blind spot. So Unfortunate. Yeah, I believe that Luma is Atsushi's best character. I think he's definitely one of the stronger characters in the game. Mm -hmm. I'd say top five in the tier list. Yeah, definitely in like the A tier range, I believe. Yeah, yeah a PD lot of people. Yeah, PD is also up there thanks to his really strong flats, but I would say that Luma is a better character than PD and can definitely attack PD better than most characters in the game. Mm -hmm. Yeah, both of these characters have relatively good uh, representation, I feel, in the scene, so. Yes. All right, let's see. Drop shot. Oh, trying to push a little bit onto the front. Yeah, but the lava is just going to go ahead and uh, reset position here. He had to lose a little bit of meter, though, to get that. 
Yeah, this is a big chance for JJ. Had Atsushi in yellow meter, and he's got to try and make him lose meter in any way possible. You can see that JJ is now coming up to the net. Gonna try and start something. Maybe a vortex? Yep, there's some more meter loss. But you have to watch out for those jingle shots. They just come by too quick. Ooh! Oh, that was unfortunate. Really big miss there from uh, Blue JJ. Yeah, Luma is a technical character, so those angles on the star shots are really, really good. Mm -hmm. And it can throw off a lot of players, even ones at the top level. Yes. Okay, we got a lob. Atsushi's ready for it, though. Yeah, but here we go. Close to low meter for Atsushi. This is JJ's chance to maybe sneak in a point. Well, it looks like they're both going back, and Atsushi's going to have time to build it back up to green. Ooh, Angus perfect trick, trick shot. shot. Yeah, this resets the situation now. All right, here's the lob. PD's tall enough to catch that, of course. Yeah, funny fact, um, PD was originally a boss character in the story mode, so they had to size him down. So the camera, when PD plays, is actually pushed back farther than any other character in the game, just mm -hmm. so that he can fit on the court. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh, that lob. Yeah. Ooh, okay. There we go. Got the L cancel. So you can ca you can cancel your charge with an with the with the L button, and then you can uh, feel free to move around in case you don't think you're in the right position. So JJ taking advantage of that, making sure that they're still in the game here. Yeah, of course. The problem with that is that you don't get the full charge, and you yeah. do see in the meter that if you get full charge, you get a lot of meter on your uh, side of the court, mm -hmm. which can help out a lot when you're trying to score some points or do well on defense. Great call okay. out on that lob. Yeah, it just goes in on the slice. And JJ not going down on this game without a fight, even though they're down right like 5-0 right now. Yeah. Like this is a lopsided match, but it's certainly not in the case of like each point has definitely been a battle for both players. Yeah. They're definitely going in. Alright. What's the trick shot on the other side? I think uh, Atsushi is definitely getting more out of the, uh, their charges, though. Man, we're on a 90 rally right now. Oh my goodness, I haven't been paying attention to the shot <laughs> rally. Yeah, I just happened to catch it on the side of the screen, but sometimes you're just so mesmerized by the ball going back and forth. It's such an interesting uh, thing to see. Yeah, that's just what you're going to see with these bigger characters like PD is that they tend to have these longer matches just because they can reach the ball fairly well. And yeah. with Atsushi being such a great player, being able to utilize these trick shots, they can stay in the match for much longer than most players. Yeah, it's funny because in heavies and like other games, sometimes you think that they're really aggressive or something, or like they really want to go in. But the, usually the big oh, character. Oh, okay. Finally gets a point. Yeah, people are getting hyped for it. Yeah, uh, the the heavy characters, like the big ones, are actually most of the, for the most part they're pretty defensive all across the board. Yeah, we do have a defensive class, and that's where characters like Waluigi and Boom Boom stay. Um, PD is a powerful character, and you see that with the flats being as strong as they are, especially on full charge. And uh, calling out the lob there, even though uh, Luma was way far back. But we are seeing some meter loss. Yeah, Luma without meter. Ooh, oh, that's thought, the jingle shot. Yeah, thought they were in the range. and I thought they were in the range, too. I thought they were gonna at least going to lunge, but looks like uh, not quite. So this is match point. Of course, you get the different music change <laughs> when yeah. we're on uh, match point. Oh, and I mean, the technical character being Luma, those flats can go right down the line. Yes. And if you don't call it out, it can be a problem. So JJ loses that game. We go into game three. Yes. And the last game for either one of our competitors. That was a very strong response from Matsushi, actually. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. like, after starting off, well, actually, JJ actually had a pretty solid lead the, the first match, but the Luma switch definitely worked out. Now I'm curious to see if JJ would switch up to something else. I know they have a Mario, but... Uh, they do, do have a Mario, but they haven't played it in quite a while. JJ yeah. is a humongous Mario fan and was playing Mario for the first few months of the game. Mm -hmm. But then Mario just wasn't sticking around. He's usually considered low tier. Um, although Zeno plays them pretty dang well. <laughs> yeah. um, so uh, they moved on over to Petey. Mm -hmm. But we'll have to see what's going to happen here. If JJ might switch off of Petey and maybe go to Luigi, who they have played in this tournament. Hey, oh, hey. Are we we're, thinking, we're thinking we're seeing the Mario, I think. No. Uh, no? Got me excited. Okay, no, yeah. Back to PD. <laughs> you had me excited there, JJ. All righty. Not quite. All right, now. Ooh, we are going on to Inferno Island, the highest bounce in the game. So these shots are going to be flying once they hit the court. Mm -hmm. You can see that the um, it's also fast ball speed. So if you're not careful, just like on night court, the shots are going to go right by you. Yeah. And first serve does go to Aitsushi. Mm -hmm. Is this one? Okay, yeah. Uh, I, I was looking at the Mecha Koopas and making sure they're not going to move. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> with the hazards on, uh, they, they kind of interrupt the game. <laughs> so. Now, this is a huge moment right now. Atsushi has no meter. Yeah. And so, if PD does have serve, if they can start getting these points at like this, JJ might be able to get off to a strong lead, and Atsushi might not be able to recover. Yeah, not able to get that. Uh, just the, the power on those shots, like we said before. And, of course, Inferno has that high bounce and fast speed. So, this is looking a little bit difficult. Yeah, burned out meter again. 
This is really big for Blue JJ. Ooh, but because of the bounce, the drop shot wasn't able to drop fast enough. And looks like Atsushi is going to be making his Ooh. way back to get some more meter, especially with that lunge happening. Mm -hmm. All right, now JJ looking like they're starting to lose a little bit of meter. Atsushi starting to get their footing. Yeah, it looks like we're back, and yeah. both characters are in the green. It looks like they're going to be more comfortable with their shot selection now. Yeah. <laughs> That's a definitely a really big 2-0 uh, point process, though, for oh, JJ. Absolutely. Yeah, very big, especially against the caliber, the type of players we're seeing today. Yeah, I mean, Atsushi is not one to go quietly into the night, so JJ getting those points is very huge for the start. And those flats are going to be really strong on this court as well. So, I mean, if JJ can stay strong on defense, they might be able to use those points to the advantage and take the set. A little bit right outside the range, but the trick shot works just fine. Trying to go a little bit aggressive at net. Yeah, and decides to go back, knew that the lob was coming. And Asushi's starting to burn the meter really fast. Yeah, going to burn it Ooh. pretty much completely with this trick shot. Not looking too good, but the rally blinders oh, comes in. Oh, big lunge and gets the perfect trick. That's a huge thing for Asushi, able to get the meter back. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you just got to risk it, man. <laughs> but there we go. Oh, but he's losing it. Yeah, but surely. the meter's just burning so quickly for Atsushi. Gonna get a little bit of charge here, but yes, uses his zone speed, but that's a big lunge. He's gonna be able to get a max charge shots out of that to so keep himself a little bit more alive in this game. Yeah, oh, and another big lunge from JJ. Oh, JJ actually burns it all, and we got a meter reset here. Either of these two players could definitely get in that snowball period we were talking about. Yeah, once, especially Petey. If Petey gets into that low meter, I mean, the movement is just not there. But a huge lunch for Ooh. Atsushi. Oh, yeah, oh, right, right outside of rank of trick shot. Looks like the JJ starting to get a little bit of momentum back. Yeah, the JJ fans are going crazy in the stands right now. And gets the fully charged flat. Oh, man, this is looking so good for JJ. Oh, no! Oh, oh man, just a little JJ bit. Must have mixed, mixed up the zone speed with the L cancel and lost that point. And now Atsushi... Back in the green, that was a big mistake by JJ. Yeah. But nothing too big, still 3-1. Yeah. Still got a lot of potential here. Of course, Atsushi is pretty much, I think, the favor to win. So if uh, JJ does get this uh, set, that would be a really big upset That's in my true. books. And yeah. then Zeno would be the final Japanese player left in the bracket. He would be repping all of Japan. Ooh, did you see that uh, angle? I think that was a single tap. Really nice stuff. Yeah, those angles from Luma are super strong. Down back to the red. Yeah, uses up that zone speed. Ooh, the slam comes in. Oh, and that's perfect, perfect time for a trick shot. And the shot, uh, the rally bonus too, I think. Oh, no, this is really bad for PD. Low on meter, he just can't lose it. Because if he can't use those side tricks, and then Luma can build up the meter from uh, these shots. Yeah. Things get, go down south real mm -hmm. quick. Atsushi's starting to oh, apply no. the pressure, going just across the side wherever PD is, burning up the meter. This is really bad. I think that's going to be a point. Yeah. Yeah, you can see right there, like, just did not have the movement speed to get to these angles. And this is where Atsushi can make a big rush to get these points. OK, at least JJ got the nice. So going to get a little bit of meter back on that serve. Yeah, JJ actually doing a very good job getting themselves back to yellow meter at the very least. Yeah, keeping themselves a little bit more alive in this game. Oh, that's a very nice angle, but Atsushi's ready for it. Gonna go for that lob now. I think in this match, JJ's actually been going up to net a lot more frequently. I think um, relying on Inferno Island to get those angles that PD needs to get it past Luma. Yeah. And we're actually, we see a reverse in the meter. Yeah, just slowly starting to burn it. Got a little bit of rally bonus. Okay, decides to fade back. Didn't have to use too much meter. Atsushi's still burning meter. Oh, that's a really big lunge, though. Yeah, he gets a fully charged shot, so that meter's back in the yellow. And now in the green. Yeah, these two are trading meters really uh, frequently. Yeah, it says a lot about their play styles and their mental that they, even without all this meter, Free point. they can stay alive. Probably. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oof. just let it go by. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, PD does have serve right now so they can get a nice serve and get some meter back. Yes. Oh, but he doesn't get it. Oh, that's a big lunge. Yeah, just top spin across. That's very big for Atsushi. This is very, very bad for JJ. He has no meter to work with, and Atsushi is sitting on so much. And these jingle shots can be really hard to react to without any meter. He gets the perfect trick. That's going to help out so much. OK, this fades back. Tries to go out the net with no meter, actually. Very interesting to see. Oh, and they're going to have to fade back. Uses it all up on the zone speed. Get a little bit more space with the lob, but not enough to do it. That's another point for Atsushi. Yeah, the problem here is that while JJ would like to stay back and get some more meter, these angles from Luma, like, PD has to be up and to prepare for. Opportunity here. Oh, he's saying going with cross court. Goes to the same side. Oh, and a perfect trick shot. That's just uh, that's kicking them while he's down, man. Yeah. 
being able to get to full meter now, and oh, a lot of meter having to be used just to stop these angles, and Inferno's not gonna be helping because the ball's just gonna go faster once it bounces, and this is match point, set point for Atsushi. Ooh, but that's a big lunge. Gonna get a little bit of meter there. Can JJ bring this back? Getting the meter back, going into the yellow. Potential. Oh, back in the green. It got the rally bonus too. That's gonna be really big to try and keep themselves alive in this game here. Yeah, this is gonna be very huge for JJ. They're gonna need to find a way to drain the meter of Atsushi while also keeping their meter high. But once again, back in the red is both characters. Oh man, oh the oh, meter's no. down again. I think that's a free point, unless JJ can make this guess, and they do! Gets the slice there, but still not enough meter. The drop shot, another opportunity for Atsushi to bring it down on the slam. Goes in, oh. and that's gonna be the point, and Atsushi takes the set there. Man, great play by JJ. Came off to that early lead, but once PD's meter was drained, I, there was just nothing that PD could do. But both of them played great and a really exciting set to start off this top six. Man, the first set of the morning, man. Yeah, man, that woke me up real quick. <laughs> oh, man, that was such a great set. Hope you guys enjoyed that one. That was incredible to see. Now, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, that top three is going to be best of five. So. I believe so. So that's going to be losers finals and winners finals and yeah. grand finals. Yeah, so we're going to be getting our next match real soon. Oh, man, I can't get over that set. That, that was, was so <laughs> good. I thought for sure that JJ, once they got that lead, got I like know. a good 3-0. <laughs> Oh, that yeah. would have been a big upset and a big win for JJ, but mm -hmm. I mean, they played their heart out. Yeah, I mean, of course, we're NA, so we're gonna have yeah, a, we, we kind of a little slight bias. Just a slight one. Just a, like, not too much, but just a little bit. So. I won't be li I, I, like, it's Japan versus NA right now. Like, this is the storyline. This was going in. Anybody that can beat Zeno, who was able to win Heart of Battle back in Japan, uh, back in Japan, back in February, I mean, this that's the big goal for everybody here. Yeah. Oh, man. Uh, okay, well, Atsushi gonna make, making that loser's run. Uh, we're going to have to see who his opponent is going to be because this next loser's match is going to decide what we got in semis. Yes, we got the best player from Canada, Ibuprofen, is going to be coming up next, going up against Mike, a player from New York who usually doesn't play too often in tournaments but has showed up at a lot of offlines and usually places very well. Got second place at Gatorland in Florida against Fitz, who you might also remember back in Heart of Battle. Uh, kind of got destroyed by Zeno, but other than that, did super well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> did well for N.A. Sanders. Yeah, for N.A. Sanders, <laughs> did very well. Um, but Mike, very good player, uh, usually plays Chomp, so another big character, but has also been dabbling in other characters like Boom Boom as well as Kamek. Okay, going with all the, the villain characters, it looks like. Yeah, <laughs> but it, which is funny because he's like the nicest guy you'll ever <laughs> meet. All righty. Here we go. Let's see. Looks like we're setting up. They're getting their controllers mm -hmm. um, put in. Alrighty, yeah. So Ibu been around the game for a very, very long time, all the way back since July, and total lab rat. Like we're talking about, like day one, he had the Google Docs open, had like 20 pages of notes talking mm -hmm. about how to play in standard. Also created the standard guy that you can find on the MTA Discord. And Mike kind of joined in a little bit late, but like I said, doesn't join a lot of tournaments. But when he does, he gets really good placings. And showing it today, being able to get top six at yeah. a fairly stacked tournament. Mm -hmm. Alrighty. Yep, they're just going to go ahead and get things started. Whoop. <laughs> yeah, stuff is going through our headphones right now. There we go. Okay, yeah, back. there we go. Yeah. All righty. Yeah, this is going to be an interesting one to see. Yeah, ibuprofen, ibuprofen uh, I think this is their first on offline as well. This so. is their first offline, yeah. Yeah, so we're going to have to see how this goes down. It's going to be very interesting to see. Yeah, Ibu, super good player. I'd mm -hmm. say top five all time, just like going through timelines. Like I said, they've been along, around for so long. I'm um, yeah. gonna be playing Yoshi, who's his favorite character. Mm -hmm. um, also has a Peach, but I, from what he's told me, he's gonna be sticking by Yoshi. Yeah. And I'm gonna be interested to see what uh, Mike's gonna choose. I think it will be Chomp, but he's also said that Ibu can kind of destroy his Chomp. Mm -hmm. So we'll see if there's gonna be any character change on the part of Mike. Yeah. Alrighty. Looks like we're ready to get things started. All right, let's see these character choices. Also hoping that they remember to change their character. Ooh. And if this is true, I'm going to be super excited because we got Diddy Kong oh, yeah. being <laughs> highlighted by Mike. Diddy Kong is my main. is also like my favorite Nintendo character, so I'd be super hyped to see Diddy Kong being played against this Yoshi. And looks like we are, so yes. <laughs> yeah, I mean... PK, I know he's a up here commentator right now, but he's also a very fantastic player. Got a win off of uh, Jim Ray the other yes, day. Yeah, I remember. Yeah, so <laughs> don't think he's, don't think he's just a commentator. He's like actually a incredible yeah, I think player. I got like so. a 13th here at the event. Yeah, um, <laughs> only lost to um, 
well, who am I goodness, who was it? It was against Mike, so. <laughs> okay, well, that was one is. of them. Mike and Adijul are one okay. EU representative, so mm -hmm. shout outs to him for being able to make it all the way from Italy. Yeah, we are seeing the Diddy Kong, and they're going to Clay. So this is going to be a very interesting matchup. Two speedy characters who are going to be able to get around the court very quickly while the ball moves kind of slow. Mm -hmm. Alrighty. Oh, there's a split screen. I wonder what happened. Okay. Uh, anyways, here we go. Let's see how this goes down for both these players. Already Ibu off to a huge meter lead. But what's going to yeah. be helping uh, Mike is Ooh. the clay court. Going to help him stay alive a little bit longer, but no meter to stop this special shot coming from Ibu. Yeah, that's going to be a free point, basically. Right at him? Ooh. Oh, yeah, try to go for the trick shot. All righty, yeah, of course, the clay court. You're going to see those drop shots f drop a lot faster. It's just going to not move at all, basically. All right, it's going to be up to Mike to find some type of hole in Ibu's play, and I guess that's going to that's gonna be one of them. Yeah, okay. This uh, kind of got a blind spot there with that angle, so. Yeah, the side trick from Diddy Kong has a bit of a curve to it, so if you're not ready, it can throw you off. Mm -hmm. And the main goal for Diddy Kong, while he is a speedy, he actually does better more as a defensive character, so you're going to see him play back more and try to build meter and then try to go up and get some decent uh, volleys. Yeah. All right, perfect trick shot comes in. There we go. Oh, and the lob, that's going to be really big. Oh, and there we go. Okay. So we got yeah. the special on the lob, which is going to give him a good angle. Let's see where he aims it. Mm-hmm. Hits it right at Aibu. Okay, gonna get that block. Burns up a lot of meter for it, but still in the spin animation. That Yeah, so that's gonna use up the meter. Now we got the meter reset. Oh, but a big lunge. Diddy's backhand is not very good, so Mike probably wasn't ready for the range, and now Mike with no meter. All right, let's see what the option's gonna be. Okay, actually catches it. Even able to get the counter, but still slides back very far. Yeah, something that Ibu does very well is make sure to charge the sh uh, shot as much as possible. Because even if you get the correct counter, like if you charge it so much, you're going to get knocked back really far. And Diddy mm -hmm. is a light character. All right. I'm going to go in with the slam and another lob. Yoshi will make it back. Going to get a little bit of meter. But actually, both of them will. Perfect trick shots all around. Yeah, getting trick shots through the back of the court is one of Mike's specialties. When I play against him, he's always able to find those side tricks. Mm -hmm. Another side trick, yeah, just gonna burn up a little bit of meter. Going up to T, gonna refuse a little bit of that meter shortage. Yeah, backhand slice is one of Diddy's better offensive tools, so you're gonna see that quite a bit. Um, just trying to find a way to get it past Ibu. Both of them at decent meter, but Mike's kind of off the court, so this yeah. angle by Ibu is gonna be really nasty. All right, there we go. Yeah, that's Ooh. really far pushback. Will he make it back? Oh, he will. He will, and he got to keep his meter. I thought for sure it was going to be a pop-up, so he's staying in it, but... And both of them have red meters, so this might be a chance for... Yeah, there it is. Yeah, of course, if you haven't caught on already, when you do a trick shot, but you have no meter, then it pops up in the air, so it makes it a very easy setup for a free point, just like that. As example. Yeah. What's the option going to be? Top spin, going to have to slide far back. Yeah, All that's the way be to the point. back of the court. That's what happens if you miss those counters. Yeah. Just pushed all the way back. Nothing Diddy Kong can do. Yeah, pretty crazy when you go back behind the refs in this game. <laughs> yeah, the toes just have to be like, whoa, watch out. <laughs> Drop shot. Fully charged too, I think, but not enough to get past Ibu. Going to have to go to cross court. Both of them at yellow meter. These drops, like Sedge has been saying, are going to drop a lot faster on this court. So it's going to help out Diddy Kong quite a bit because he does have a decent drop against Yoshi. Ooh, another pushback. Big opportunity for Ibu to get the point. Oh, but a topspin on the other side. Keeps oh, himself in Diddy's the game. Lunge. Yeah, something to note is that lobs are usually the most susceptible shots to being perfectly uh, trick shot. So it can be really scary to do cross-court lobs like that when mm -hmm. your opponent can get those trick shots as well as these players can. All right, gets a special there. Oh, got Ooh, the body, body shot, shot during okay. the cartwheel. <laughs> Diddy's going to be filling that in the morning for sure. Yeah, body shots, of course, will be points for the, whoever the, uh, initiated the, the shot. So, Yeah, I mean, Michael hasn't really been down on the meter. I think just Ibu's just making some good plays, um, like in positioning, so it makes Michael in a bad position. And yeah, he's going to be able to get points off that instead. One of the issues with Diddy Kong is that he doesn't really have a win condition. You've been kind of seeing that what Ibu's been doing is charging up the shot a lot and using the knockback that Yoshi has to push Diddy off the court. Diddy Kong doesn't really have that kind of option, so the best that Mike can do right now is just build up the meter, maybe get a special, or just try to get a shot by him, or get lunges like that. Yeah, all right. Yeah, red meter. Not going to be looking too good. Yep, just another pop-up. That's going to be another point for Ibu, unless, yeah. unless... No, oh, he just yeah. has to go for the lob. He's mm -hmm. been mixing it up each time, and that's been throwing Mike off guard. Yep. You saw he was even, like, up at the net, like, expecting, like, another just shot to go right past him. But 
Nope. Just uh, going to be another point for Ivu. Here we go, 5-1. Goes for the drop, but it goes right to Ivu. Fully charged, and Diddy is back at the court again. And this is match point for Ivu in this game one. Oh, the lunge from Diddy, that's gonna be huge. This will likely be it for Mike unless he can pull off some craziness. Yeah, uh, pretty low meter. I, I I don't have too much faith right now. That That's not me not having faith in Michael. That's just me not having faith in Diddy Kong kind of with low meter. Oh, thanks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it means right, a lot to me. Go. And then here comes the special. Likely will be aiming it down into the left or right. Mm -hmm. Not really much that Diddy Kong can do, especially with that meter that he doesn't have. It. Oh, that's that! Are you kidding me? <laughs> So one of the reasons that NA players don't do specials very often is because they don't like to use their meter, but they can also do that and aim it right down and hit the net. And that's right. going to be the second point for Mike and maybe a breath of life. Going to get that slam right in. Okay, trying to go. Yeah, just building up the meter very slowly. <laughs> Michael got a second breath of life here. Yeah, now he's back in the yellow meter. Going to be able to get back to green and gets knocked back. Oh, a drop shot. Yeah, that forces Ibo to use up a lot of meter. Oh, it would be ridiculous if Michael could somehow pull off this comeback just based on that missed special shot by Ibu. Yeah, that would be crazy. And he's already back in the meters, back in the game, actually. Going to go with that trick shot. Yes, keeping himself alive. Yeah, uh, neither of these two letting up right now. I think, oh, oh. the Jimmy Tech, and that's another point for the Diddy Kong. Yeah. I mean, he's still got a lot of work to do. Has to score three more points just to get into a tiebreaker situation, but he's got the meter to do it. Yeah, oh my gosh, I'm so me I'm so mesmerized by, <laughs> by the second <laughs> second chance. What's exciting is that we're going to be getting this match point music for like the rest of the set. Yeah. So, I mean, we're going to be on edge for the rest of this time. Yeah, Michael really trying to start the aggression here. Ooh, and the lob has to slide back a little bit, but still pushing that advantage position here. A little bit of a lunge, but going to be fine. Just using up that meter. Yeah, Ibu's going to need to find a way to drain that meter from Michael and get it back to where it was before that missed special shot. Yeah. And then that will definitely give him the best opportunity. But Michael, like one of his best things is his defense, and he will not say no to uh, saving the ball, even if he doesn't have any meter. So it's going to be a bit harder for Ibu to get this, especially when Mike has all this meter. Yeah, the perfect trick shot comes in. Those angles on the top spin. Oh, just immediately on the block with the net. Oh, man, there's so many lunges coming out, but he has enough meter to keep himself alive, so he doesn't have to worry about too much. I feel like a special shot might come out soon, though, just because he's at half meter. Might have to use it up. Yep, there it is. Okay, so Diddy Kong does have the meter to stop this special shot, but will he have enough meter to survive the stun that's going to come with it? The big block. Oh, let's see, he's got to run up there. Get up there, Diddy! Oh, oh. not cool. I thought he had the right position there, but just a centimeter off on that. Yeah, clay court coming in clutch for Ibu right there, making the ball drop just in the nick of time. So Ibu does take that game one after a scare with the special. Mm -hmm. And though, and while I am happy that my fellow Conquest member was able to throw the Diddy out there in top six, I do expect a character change and a court change depending on what character he chooses. Yeah. Man, but could, could you have imagined could you imagine if the miss special caused a five-point comeback? That would have been insane. Yeah, that, <laughs> it almost did. I, like, even though he only got one point out of it, it was like the, the threat of it was yeah, the, really the there. Was there. I mean, once he had that meter back at full, just a few more reads, maybe he could have brought it back. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, specials can be really hard to come back from, especially when drops are as strong as they are on that court. All right, sticking with the Yosh. And there's the Mike branded Chain Chomp. Unfortunately, the Switch doesn't have the Chomp hats that Mike loves so much, so he's gonna have to go bare naked Chomp. But here we are going to Hardcore. Yeah, unfortunately, you can't unlock the hats after the event ends. That so. is very true. <laughs> so I couldn't we do that We tried our best. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All righty, Get here a Bible thump in the chat for the uh, Chomp hats, everybody. Yeah. All right, here's a good boy with the serve. All righty. Yeah, and you see there's a very, very big boy. Yeah, so oh, Mike that's doesn't a bad really start, like though. playing with Chomp against Ibu just because Ibu just tends to steamroll him. But this is his best character, and he is a defense. Um, he's like a p weird mix. He's like a power character, but he's also a bit defensive. But he also has really good angles, so he can be a really strong character once he has meter. But his main goal right now is going to be to build up the meter with these side tricks and be able to come into this match. Yeah. Okay. Got a little bit of meter to work with, all but has his own speed. Yeah, making him run all across the court like a dog. Not quite working out now, so that's another plop. See what the options are going to be. Yeah. Top spin. 
another big difference here is Diddy Kong being a lightweight, he was going to get pushed back by those shots a lot more. Chomp has the highest knockback resistance out of any character, being the giant metal ball that he is. Yeah. So you're not going to see him get pushed back on the court too often unless he has a really bad counter. Oh, it has to use up that meter for the, uh, yeah, we're seeing a little bit of drop and lob strategies just to make Chomp have to use zone speed rather than trick shots. Yeah, and it's burning up a lot of meter for him. That's usually the fault for these big characters, that they can't move up and down quite as well as the other characters, especially Yoshi, who is in the speedy class. Drop shot? Yeah. Not much you can do about that once you already picked the wrong counter for that. Right. Mike's still in the red, so, I mean, he's still got a lot of work to do just to feel comfortable against Aibu, who at any point can just approach the net and attack him. All right, on the charge here, yeah. Easy slice just to be able to counter that. Okay, finally back in the green on the meter here. Right. Potentially might see a special shot, yeah. <laughs> right on the lunge or whenever Ibu makes a mistake. Right, and this is actually be really good for Ibu because it's going to force... Ooh. Oh, Ooh. no. Try to go for the trick block, but did it too early. Thankfully, in this case, no racket's broken, so he doesn't have to worry about losing the match. Unfortunately, yeah. in quick play, you're, they only give you one racket, so if we had rackets on, that would have been the end of the match right there. Yeah. This All is right. where Mike works best, when he has the meter and he can utilize these side tricks, mm -hmm. and then he feels more comfortable attacking the net. All right, there we go. Yeah, perfect trick shot. Oh, and so it decides to use it for a special shot. Let's see if they can get the point. Ooh, careful. Yeah. Oh, of course, you see. Ooh! Ooh, there's the example of the trick shot. No knockback sustained and didn't lose any more meter than the trick shot allowed. A yeah. huge win for Ibu there. Mm -hmm. It's very difficult to pull off, if I if I say so myself. Like, it's very rare that people actually get the right guess and the right timing on it as well. Yeah, because for special shots, not only do you have to be in range with the trick shot, you also have to press the button at just the right time in order to get that trick block to happen. So yeah. very great by Ibu in order to do that. And you can see how big of an impact it's made on this point. Oh man, yeah, that was that was just such a clutch play from Ibu. I thought that Michael thought, okay, I'm gonna try and push my advantage here with the special shot, and then Ibu just denied him the satisfaction of it. We're right. looking at potentially a bagel right now. That's true, a bagel being a 7-0 in the case of this match. Yeah, that would be like a JV4 in Smash. So we'll see how it goes down, guys, because this is kind of not looking good. There's another plop. Yeah, this is gonna be Michael's game plan right now. Is just try to find drop ooh, shot. Yeah, try. I think maybe called it as a flat, got pushed way far back, because Yoshi actually does have a decent amount of power for him, despite being a speedy. And last chance. Oh, what? Oh, my goodness. And that's how it ends. Okay. All righty. I can't uh, imagine that was on purpose. Yeah. I, but okay. Oh, yeah. We'll take it. <laughs> well we, played. And we hear the golf claps from the, the, the audience here. Yeah, that was a... And th uh, that's it. <laughs> yeah. very, very interesting things happened that match. I would say so myself. But if, if I had to take a guess on what was happening, I think that maybe he was trying to position himself in a way so that he can get a good angle on the return shot, but mm -hmm. he just missed the timing on his shot. He got body shot. Yeah. Poor dog. Poor dog. All righty. Are we moving on into loser semis here? Going to be Aibu again and uh, Atsushi this time. All right, so best in Canada versus one of the best in Japan going up against each other. Another two out of three. Um, going to be, once again, interested in seeing who Atsushi is going to go because he did well with the Luma, but he started off with the Rosalina. And we're going to have to see which character he feels comfortable with against what will most likely be a Yoshi from Ibu. Yeah. We'll have to see. Uh, it's uh, interesting in uh, Ace. It's pretty much everyone character loyalist for the most part. Yeah. No, no matter what happens to their character, be the nerf or whatever. Most yep. of the time, people just still play whatever, whoever they like, so. For the most part, that is the case. I do see him over Toad. Toad, definitely not a played character. <laughs> At least not a character that many people play. Shout out to yeah. Guard RTO, who usually plays him, but. Toad are, Toad's uh, counterpart, though, Toadette. Oh, Toadette, one of the <laughs> scariest characters in the game. I don't think we'll be seeing Toadette unless one of our winner sem uh, winner's finals competitors decides that he might need to throw it out yeah. there, Lil Biggest Jake. But I doubt that will be the case. Mm -hmm. Oh, connection lost. All right, looks like they got to set it up again. Yeah. All righty. Yep. There we go. Anyways, yeah, Toadette. Oh man, that's a that's a that's a character. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's a lot the, of history. <laughs> so pretty much how Junior was considered really good at the start of the game, Toadette was considered that at the midpoint. Yeah. Like, got a bunch of buffs. Was con originally considered a low tier character, but then got a bunch of buffs. Have a, has amazing angles, incredible side trick. Uh, the defense is actually the best part of Toadette because the side tricks are just so strong. And Jake came out and just destroyed everybody for quite a while until Angie had to come in and uh, win some more tournaments. Yeah. All right, let's see. 
this is pretty big for Ibu because I know he had to lose to Zeno in order to get here, unfortunately. So he really, really wants the run back. But, and I'm really interested to see how he's going to face off against Atsushi. I think that Ibu thinks he can win, but Atsushi is such a strong competitor. And we saw that even in the face of a 1-0 deficit against JJ, he was able to come right back. Yeah, so we'll have to see. Atsushi definitely has a very strong... Uh, mental resilience when it comes to being put under pressure. So, I mean, you got to think about it. Zeno and Natsushi are the only ones that flew. Oh, actually, and... Uh, oh, no, we did have, ba we did have Bazi Tomo. Bazi Tomo, who yeah. Who placed, I believe, ninth, ninth I guess. Yeah. The mm -hmm. yeah, got ninth place, losing to Mike and uh, Lil Big's Jake. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, but oh, an amazing Boom Boom player that came by. Yeah. And um, we were happy that he was able to come. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but they like flew 2,000 miles. They were the first and second place of, yeah. of the tournament, and they got more <laughs> competitors this time to have to worry yes, about. Yes, thankfully. Yeah, so NA we'll looking see. a lot stronger this mm -hmm. time. Yeah. And so we do have the Yoshi from Ibu, but I'm interested to see what Atsushi's going to be choosing. He is hovering over the Luigi, but that is the default place your um, token is placed. All and right, starting off Luma. with the Lumo, yeah. Okay. And we saw before that those jingle shots from Luma can be really scary. So if Ibu were to go into a meter disadvantage, he would have to try really hard to climb mm -hmm. his way back against yeah. those powerful shots. All right, and we're starting on night. This used to be the only stage that you could play the finals, uh, like the online tournaments in. They did change that, thankfully. <laughs> yeah, it's true. But it also is, in my opinion, one of the prettier stages in the game. It's Very just true, a sight yes. to see with the blue and the red, and mm -hmm. also the names in the back of the court. Yeah. Oh, ooh, wow, starting off already with a nice. It looked like Atsushi wasn't ready for it. Yeah, it did get a jingle shot on it, so Ibu did have to react quickly, but Ibu will be starting off with the meter advantage, which is very big at the start of this match, especially on a court like night. Like I said, guys, hope you're not tired of the, the Luma jingles yet. <laughs> Alrighty, here we go. Yeah, Atsushi starting off with low meter, but Luma can make that back reasonably well as long as they get the max charge shots. Yeah, starting to get the meter into the yellow now, but Ibu's got a pretty significant advantage. Yeah, Ooh, special shot. Special, but does have Luma in yellow, so even if they return it, they'll probably be too stunned in order to get the return. And gets a good angle from it. Mm -hmm. Hatsushi decided to, well, why not try, but uh, not quite going to be able to find yeah, it. Yeah, with it being infinite rackets, there's no risk in trying, which usually leads to a lot of hype plays. Uh-huh. Ooh, Ooh, that! that. <laughs> Yeah, so there is some RNG in this game coming from the net. Sometimes the shot will hit the net and will result in shots like that where it pretty much acts as like a de facto drop shot and can yeah. throw a lot of players off. Mm -hmm. It can definitely help you depending on if it just plops right in front of you while you're charging or it can completely mess you up and you have to move forward and cancel your shot. Yeah, and a huge meter advantage for Ibu right now. Full meter on his side, nothing for Atsushi, at least until he got that nice serve. Yeah, still in the red, only a quarter of a meter available. And Ibu looking very comfortable so far. Doesn't look like they have to uh, really worry about a meter loss so far. Yeah, it looks like Ibu's goal is to build up meter and then stick at T and use those really strong slices of Yoshi to throw Luma off their game. Because although they are really strong, they do have poor range. So if one of them get past and get a good lunge like that, you might see some meter loss. All right, here. Slice to the other side. And this is the vortex I'm talking about. Look at all that meter that Atsushi had to drain just to stay in this point. Yeah, look at those angles from Luma, though. Really trying to make Ibu move all across the court. And there we go, the lob shot. Finally going to be able to try and burn off a little bit of meter off of him. Yeah, not too bad of a trade for Atsushi because he was able to make uh, Ibu drain a lot of his meter as well. But still, Ibu does have the advantage when it comes to that aspect of this match. Oh, now both of them in the red. Atsushi with nothing, Ibu only with a little bit. Yeah, all of a sudden we got a meter reset here. Oh, but the rally bonus. That gave a lot for Ibu, actually. Yeah, had, both had the time low and the speed. trick shot. So Atsushi for the first time has the lead in meter. But there's a lob. It has to go really far back for that. Maybe a drop shot. Ooh, okay. Goes for the top spin right down the middle, and there's going to be the slam. Atsushi going to take uh, his first point finally. Yeah, and I'm not sure if I like that choice from Ibu because it did give um, Atsushi a chance to charge up another shot. Yeah. And he got more meter because of it. Yeah, sometimes it's not, even if you can hit the ball back, sometimes it's not worth it just because you can do another uh, lob shot by accident and then cause a lot of, uh, cause a lot of meter loss, so or meter gain for your opponent, excuse me. And Luma there does go. have one of the best lobs in the game. You can see how they go like all the way to the corner of the court. So yeah. even someone as fast as Yoshi has a lot of trouble getting there in time on a court like Knight. Yeah, just keeping things even now. 
Ibu's still gonna be lo oh okay got the chimpy tech well, yeah. actually no that was more of a dead zone now that yeah I think about it got right in the middle mm -hmm. got kind of mixed up there unfortunate wow these perfect trick shots man getting so much meter off of it Ooh, perfect trick on the lob and now both of them I think for the first time both of them in the green yeah. Neither of them really opting to use a special yet. They're just using that meter for zone speed to get into a good position. Ooh, that slice angle. But uh, Yoshi's ready for it. Ooh, that might not be good for... Oh, yeah. I was yeah. going to say, Ibu had to have that little bit of jump, so he had more landing lag when he landed, mm -hmm. as if this is Smash. But he, so he has to use this special. Oh, uh, no trick okay. block here. Yeah. Had the right range, had the right idea. Not quite the uh, positioning for it. All right, so 4 2 for Ibu and does have the meter advantage once again, although it is close. Okay, perfect trick shots. Oh, yeah, Ibu uh, lost a lot of meter there, but they got the rally bonus. Ooh, one of our so first they're fine. front tricks, stopping that fully charged topspin, usually those can be used to stop the stun. Alrighty, the lob, the fully charged one, forces Ibu all the way back. Ooh! Oh, that's a Jimmy Tech right yeah. there. Mm -hmm. Alrighty, all across the court. Ooh, the front trick this time, actually. You don't see those too often anymore. Yeah, usually it's good on courts like Knight and Grass, and they can be used at really good angles, but uh, Luma ha can charge while uh, moving, which makes it a lot easier for them to reach these shots. And Yoshi being a speedy character, he can get to those shots fairly well, at, uh, too. Yeah. Alrighty, and there's a lob. Both of these do about half meter now. Uh, I don't think uh, we, we might see a big play sometime soon if one of them gets a meter advantage. Looks like Atsushi's taking the lead on this. Oh, oh but a big lot. A big lunge, yeah. And now this is a big chance for Ibu, draining all that meter that Atsushi has, just hitting it back and forth, forcing him to use the zone meter just to stay in the point. Oh, but oh, these mistakes by Ibu, forcing him to lose a lot of meter, and now he's in the red as well. Oh, but that's a big lunge. What's the option going to be? Oh, oh right down the middle the on a zone. dead zone. Yeah. There's a nice serve, too. Ibu all of a sudden way back in the lead. Ooh, was barely able to get that trick shot. That could have been a problem since Ibu is only two points away from taking this first match. Okay, there we go. The perfect trick shot comes in. Trying to keep themselves alive here. Yeah, and Ibu are going to have to burn up some meter. Not quite getting the right positioning, so they have to force to use meter to keep themselves in the game here. Right, Ibu trying to stick to T, but Atsushi doing a very good job at baseline, getting these jingle shots and forcing him away so he can't get a lot of charge on his shots. Yeah. Okay. Just uh, rallying back and forth, gaining a little bit of meter on both sides. Yeah, this is one of the bigger rallies that we've seen between these two since both of them finally have green meter. But we do see Ibu trying to make an attack, and here it goes. Okay, another perfect trick shot. Oh, Dang. big lunge. He's gonna, yeah, that's going to be a very strong lob. Look at all this meter he has to burn just to stay in it. Yep. Yeah, and it's no meter being lost on those trick shots now that they have so much to work with. It's like moving inch, it's like centimeters on, right. the, on the meter screen. I mean, Ibu trying his best, but it's just doing a very good job with using these trick shots and being able to gain back the meter that he loses. Yeah. One of the longer rallies we've had so far, like you said. We, we just hit 60. Oh, now we hit 70. Yeah, these two going back at it. Oh, had a little bit of a stutter step, and now this is a good chance for uh, Atsushi. Both of them in the yellow, but the perfect trick, and now they're both back to green, but now they're back to yellow, and they're just trading back and forth. Yeah, this is a they're really trying to push each other on these shots. They're maxing out their range on it, trying to catch them making a mistake. It's not quite happening. Both of these two, they just have enough meter to save face and then come back into the groove of it. Oh, oh but, but down the middle. Right yeah. And that's big for Atsushi, only one point away from tying this back up. Yeah. Same time mix up. Not quite falling for it. Okay. Yeah, I like the spacing around Atsushi. Make sure he's in the range with a trick shot. Oh, Ooh, no, he no. wasn't in the star. Goes and sails right over his head, and we got a tied match here in game one. Yeah, that happens a lot, actually, where people think they're in the star, and it turns out they're not. Just yeah, like you, you got to keep your eye on the star. If you're in it, then you get that blue indicator, as you just saw. But it looks like Ivy just was out of range. Yeah, unfortunate. Oh, but look at how offensive Ibu is being. Like, he's going right up to the net, trying to force something from Atsushi, but he's doing such a good job on defense. All right, that flag going all across. And there we go, the egg roll comes in. Gonna get that perfect trick shot. Yeah, 
unfortunately, while Luma has been staying way far back, and you're thinking, like, oh man, we should go for a drop shot. Bat, um, Night Court does have a Ooh. medium bounce, so it's not going to work out too well. And Atsushi takes the lead three points in a row, and now there's Atsushi's chance to take game one. Yeah, Atsushi really making bank off of these dead zones, for sure. Really tripping up Ibu. Atsushi with the opportunity to make a point here. You'll have to bring it uh, to Deuce with one more point. It starts at six, so and then you would uh, have to win by two after that. Yes. Oh, but does have Atsushi finally in the red. Is slowly but surely draining that meter from Atsushi, although he is building it back up. Yeah. I mean, he's got to be careful, though, because these dead zones have been really hurting him. Yeah. I mean, Aibu, even though he has been get forcing Atsushi to lose meter, he doesn't have meter himself to really force a situation where he can try and get gain a point. So these two are really just trading meter and then slowly gaining it back. Yeah, but I think that a point is going to be happening soon. Atsushi with no meter to speak with. But Aibu with no meter clear. either. Wow. Oh, and goes with the lob. Oh, Able to make no, it back. back no, turn. not quite. All righty, Atsushi. Very nice stuff. Bringing it all the way back after like a four point lead or yeah, something that I had. had like a strong, at least three points on Atsushi, but he stuck strong, stayed at the baseline, didn't mess around, and was able to sneak by with that game one. Yeah, that was crazy. Oh my gosh. And I think court counter pick is going to be very big for this choice. I'm interested to see what Ibu is going to choose. We'll likely stick with the Yoshi unless he thinks of someone else. I like how when Atsushi, like, there on the character select screen, he checks the controls every time to make sure. Oh yeah, like the, we've the, had a couple of times in pools where they forget that their controls get set to default, so uh -huh. it's always good to remember to check your controls before the start of each match. And we're going to Savage Sea. Oh yeah, this is the first time we've actually been on this map, so. Yeah. Uh, Savage Sea, one of the DLC maps, I believe. I don't remember when, but it was a free update. It's like right, uh, yeah, it's one of the ones that you can get through adventure mode by beating Kamek on like the 400 ball rally, which I remember a lot of people having trouble with at the start. Um, it takes place on this ship. Thankfully, there was, like you said, DLC to remove the pole in the middle. It yeah. would have made this not as competitive of a map. But oh, thankfully, yeah. they took it away. And so it's like a good middle ground between Knight and Grass Court. Not mm -hmm. as fast as Grass Court, but also has like a low bounce. Alrighty. Wow, already starting off with very strong angles. Aibu had a really strong start with that nice serve, but we're not really seeing that this time around. Now we're going a little bit more even. Oh, another dead zone. Yeah, the, I was got to be ready for those. He's lost like maybe three or four points off of that. Yeah, I, I really haven't seen much of a difference in play style between the two at the start of this game. Looks like we're pretty much right where game one left off. And even though Aibu has been able to get a couple of lunges out from Atsushi, he just hasn't been able to drain the meter effectively to a point where he can have a strong advantage. Yeah, both these two, yeah, just going at it. Neither of these two really letting up so far. I've been deciding to stay a little bit farther back, but Yoshi doesn't do quite as well at baseline, especially against these star shots, because these star shots have a uh, bit of a knockback property to them, so you uh -huh. can't charge them as well. And the return shots are usually pretty weak, so it's very easy for Atsushi to return them. Got the Ooh. dead zone. All right. right back at him, and we're tied back up. Yeah, finally, finally responding back with something this time. Okay, so both of them in the green meter. Once again, Ibu trying to start something up at the net. Gets a fully charged slice and gets the perfect trick. So this is looking pretty good for him, but still, uh, Asushi doing a great job conserving his meter and staying alive in these points. Here we go, going in. Gets a lob that time. Decides to go in position, okay. Atsushi gets oh, a... Oh, no! Oh! A very rare case of the side trick going off. Usually those types of trick shots always go into the court, but I guess he was moving back and it just didn't yeah. work for him. Yeah, very, very rare. rare yeah. Instance. I didn't even think about it because I just thought, okay, he's going to get a trick shot and we're going to continue to rally, and then it just would decide to be out. Oh, but that's the dead zone. Hits him right back. Two, yeah, two. brings it back to even, man. And it's really big for Aibu. He really wants to make it farther in this tournament and prove that NA is stronger than the Japanese players, but he's going to have to win this and the next game, and Atsushi's just so strong on the yeah. baseline with Luma. All right, another strong angle coming in. Both of them building up their meter. Um, yeah, Atsushi no. does have full, but 
Like, he hasn't really been opting for doing any specials. He's been mm -hmm. sticking back and he's been serving it, utilizing the jingle shots that you've been hearing so much of. And using a zone shot, look at this angle. Oh my gosh, oh, he can't even reach chance. it, yeah. Had to use all that meter just to get to it, and he couldn't even get to it. Oh man, yeah, that really sucks actually for Ibu, but, oh wow, brought it back with a nice serve, okay. Yeah, but that was a very nice point. That, did you see that angle? Like, yeah, you'll, mean, see, you'll see the, the player that will use gyroscope controls, much like Splatoon, where you can snap to the, the correct angle much easier. Yeah, some of these uh, angles can be like straight horizontal, like an 80 degree angle, and it can, even if you think that you're in range, it can just slip right past your racket. Yeah, crazy stuff. All right, another perfect trick. All right, Atsushi in the red for the first time in quite a while, but Aibu, like he just doesn't have the punishes to keep him there. Oh, Ooh, a that's lunge, a big lunge. Push back too. Yeah, gonna have to use up a lot of meter on that one. Yeah, neither of these two are really letting up. As soon as they drop down in meter, they play a little bit safer, and then they're able to restore the meter that they lost. Very yeah. good control from both of these players. I mean, both these guys, like their best chance would be to like go to the net and hope for some great angle and get them into a vortex, but they know that the most optimal way to play is to stay a little bit more safe, utilize these perfect trick shots, and getting these charge shots to build back up meter, so yeah. that once they do go in, like Ivy's doing now, they have something to fall back on. Now, something that's interesting to me is that even though this is a faster court, I do kind of want to see Ibu going for more drop mm -hmm. shots in this instance because if he can get a good charge on him, he can force that sushi to come closer to net, and that's where more lunges will happen for the character. But he's sticking more to slices. Yeah. Know? Ooh, wow. That's <laughs> he hit towards to the right of the stage, but it still ended up on the left side of the court afterwards. Yeah. Really threw him off there. Yeah. All right, Asushi's still trying to play from behind here. Gonna have to make something happen or get a rally bonus Ooh, very, very soon. Big lunge. big lunge. Oh, the, and there was a rally bonus actually, so got a little bit yeah, of meter there's back. There's a drop shot. Look at all that meter he has to use. There's a lob. Both right. these two going back and forth. Fully charged shot. This is Ibu's chance, using the meter to get himself into a prime position. But Atsushi's staying alive. I mean, he's only got so much meter, but he's doing such a good job. Thing in the game uses a front trick to throw Ibu off. Yeah, oh, big lunge, and that's gonna be yeah. out. We're there moving we into even now. Man, 3 3. That was a very long point, but now this is Ibu's best situation he's been in probably since the start of this match. Yeah. Got Atsushi in the red and can hopefully move up to net and move him back, but man, Atsushi just so good at conserving that meter. Yeah. He's already back into the green. Had to use a little bit for the zone speed, but he's still in it. He's still got a lot of trick shots left in him before he has to worry about cracking. Oh, but that's a big lunge. What's the option going to be? Goes for the top spin. Gets that counter with the slice. The drop shot comes in, and he's got so little meter now. Oh, and he's in the T. This is what Ivy wants, because now he's going to be lunging a lot more. All right, there's a lob. Really charge slice, and now Ibu might be thinking about using a special once he gets it if he can get the opportunity. But looks like he is opting to stay more through using volleys. Ooh, Ooh the drop shot. Out. I yeah. love that choice. Drop shot is considered a slice, so you can use that to stop those fully charged lobs mm -hmm. and called it out and stop the side trick from happening. Yeah, very great stuff. Oh, Ooh, but another, another dead, dead zone. zone. These guys are just going back and forth, back and forth. Yeah, no, neither of these two have had a, like more than a two point lead. Yeah, it's, it's actually it's, crazy. It's really great. These guys are tit for tat. There's a trick shot. Ooh, very nasty angle I have to deal with. But forces Ibu onto the other side of the court. Both of these two starting to be on the aggressive at T. Ooh, but the front, front trick, trick almost tripped up Ibu, but he came back to it. Still yeah. in it. He was trying to call out a side trick, maybe to stop an angle there, but Ibu was privy to it. Okay, he's slowly but surely. He's getting it from Atsushi down in the yellow. He's just staying at T, staying firm, and moving back when he needs to to get enough charge to stay mm -hmm. in the lead meter-wise. But that side trick's going to bring it back to even. Oh, man, these flats. Oh, but a big lunge. Both of these two have plenty of meter to work with, though. Oh! oh a, li a little bit of a mistake there from Ibu. I think he yeah. used a little bit of his zone speed and then couldn't adjust himself. Yeah, that looked really weird. I think he just kind of froze when he was thinking about what to do. Yeah, um, a special has to come out here. No other choice. I think this is Ibu's like first special of the match, so we'll see where he aims it. Nothing Atsushi could do there. 
once again, we're tied up. <laughs> yeah, getting it back to even. Well, we have a we have even meter as well, though. So neither of these two really going to end up. Yeah, that angle was really strong <laughs> by by Luma. Oh man, we got people in the back. They're super hyped. Yeah, right. they're really into this right now. <laughs> Very crazy stuff. Utilizing these sli uh, slices, like I said, I would want to expect some more drop shots, but instead he's sticking more to these slices, and at times it's helping, but he isn't able to get a strong enough punish to keep Atsushi at that low meter. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's a lob though, putting him back. Alrighty, and he uses that flat. Atsushi with really low meter right now, but he forces Aibo to use the trick shot. Lunge. Ooh, big lunge! a drop right here. No, he decides to go for the flat instead. Now comes with the drop. Okay, goes with the flat. Atsushi still keeping himself alive, but that's another big lunge. Doesn't How get the perfect trick. He had another he got meter. It. Oh, not quite enough, but Aibu going up 6-5. All right, and he's got the meter advantage. This is his best situation, but I mean, we've seen it time and time again. Once someone gets a lead, they get it right back to Tide. Oh, but this is going to be big, the fully charged slice. Oh, and a lob that forces up a lot of meter, but Atsushi basically has nothing right now. Finally going to get a little bit of extra with that charge shot. Okay, another slice. Hold no the meter. lunge! Oh, yeah, that's going to be a plop. Going to have to find the read on the this one. What's the gonna call going to be? Oh, and he gets the block, but a lot of pushback. That's going to be a drop shot, and Aibu keeps himself alive here, taking game two. There we have it. Luma, once again, a light character, also a floaty, so the knockback was just crazy, and the crowd is going wild for Aibu right now. We're tied back up. Another game three situation. Oh, man. <laughs> that was crazy, dude. I can't believe it. I mean, we, see, we saw Atsushi after losing a game to JJ come right back, so I'm not expecting him to falter for this next match. But Aibu, I mean, he's got a little bit of hype to him right now. I mean, do you see Atsushi right now in his chair? He has not. <laughs> he barely moves. He's, he doesn't he fidget at all. He's absolutely stoic. Yeah, I know. Maybe it's the robes. <laughs> it, helps yeah. it keeps him composed. Oh? Are we keeping with the Luma? Yes, all right, we are. so yeah. same matchup going into game three. Core choice is this time... Hardcore, this is Atsushi's choice as it is his counter pick. Yes. Alrighty. It's bright and sunny outside. Well, let's see how this goes down, man. <laughs> yeah, once again, Atsushi, one of two Japanese players in the bracket, so if he goes down, it's all up to Zeno to rep for Japan. Mm -hmm. Alright, what's Already the play going to be? A little bit more yeah. aggressive. Atsushi with no meter to work with so far. Oh, Perfect trick shot, trick. though. He's just so good at getting those right when he needs them. Yeah. Man, every time I try to get a perfect trick shot, I get nothing. <laughs> and when these guys do it, they get it like every single time, dude. It's, yeah. I'm so jealous. I like, Even though I've been playing the game for a long time, even I don't really get the spacing of trick shots quite as well as these guys do. Yeah. I mean, another perfect trick shot, another yeah. One. Oh, but calls out this one with a drop shot, and Aibu takes the lead in game three. Yeah, Atsushi getting a little bit too greedy. He's like, oh, I'm going to get oh, so much meter off of this, and Aibu decides to deny that from him. Yeah, some players, you'll find them on ladder. They always utilize trick shots to try and get the meter with the perfect tricks, but sometimes something like a drop shot or a really good angled shot can get them out of their funk. Yeah, there's a slam. Going to get a little bit of extra meter off of that. Oh, man, yeah. Okay, so Aibu's going to be back into the into the green now. Both of these two have a lot to work with with their meter now. Not, no steamrolling is going to happen today, right. I don't think. With the trick, both of them in the green, so they're going to be pretty comfortable for this next shot. This has all been this second point. This has been quite the rally. Another flat to the other side. Hasn't quite gone for like those dead, dead zone uh, shots yet. I think he's trying to get Aibu a little bit comfortable. Um, with the with the cross court shots instead. Yeah, conditioning is a huge thing in Mario Tennis. If you can make it so that your opponent thinks one thing's gonna happen, even just a little bit of a stutter step can force them to use some meter to stay in the match, and yeah. that can be really huge. A lot of meter we used up for Atsushi. Oh, but another perfect again, trick shot. I thought for sure that was gonna be a dead zone as well, but Atsushi just placing himself in the perfect situation. Yeah, very good positioning with that drop, uh, or excuse me, that lob shot as well. Atsushi is now starting off with a little bit of meter. Oh, Ooh. right outside the range. Yeah, we call that an L cancel lunge. So Yoshi was about to lunge for that shot, but Aibu canceled it, which means that he just stopped in his tracks, and usually that's a point for the opponent. We might see like an attempt at a point with a special shot. Never mind. I thought for sure he might have gone for something because Yoshi was already down into a third of his meter. Yeah, both of these guys not opting for specials too often. I think both of them have maybe done it like once or twice. Yeah. It's really been about getting these angles and forcing them to use the meter and then attack it. Yeah. 
Oh, we might see it though. He's not using the zone speed. We might see something happen. He's approaching yeah. the net, and there it is. Yeah, going to get that special shot. All righty, let's see. Where's the angle going to be? Oh, yeah. Nothing that Yoshi could do. He was still in the spin from that fully charged slice. Yeah. Ibu's got to work hard to get this meter back because he just needs to feel comfortable because his main goal is to stay at T to yeah. attack at Sushi. But if he doesn't have the meter, he's going to have to really work hard. Mm -hmm. Man, both these is going in. Okay, there we go. There's the flat. We've got the perfect trick. Now he's got special online, and yeah. he's going to use it. He's going to go for it. Will Atsushi use up the meter, or will he opt for like the meter lead on this next shot? Ooh, going Ooh. for the hat trick. Oh, he, he got it! it. <laughs> what a call out from Atsushi. The hat trick being you use the zone speed to get yourself into position and then go for the trick shot block. Uses up some meter, but he's still in the match, and now both of them at very low meter. A point's sure yeah. to be coming soon. One perfect trick shot from Atsushi, though, and he can put himself in a great position. Oh, and the angles forces out the trick shot. I can't. I just can't get over that shot. And actually, Ibu with just enough meter to be able to respond to that as well. Yeah, but once again, an interesting call. I mean, I've, I'm going to keep saying it. I feel like he should be going for a few more drops because Atsuchi is sticking back. And I feel like a good drop might force out some more meter, especially yeah. since Atsuchi has none. Gets oh, the, the front, front trick, trick for the perfect trick. Keeping himself in the game right here. No meter for Atsushi, but going to force out a trick shot. Ooh, big lunge. Keeps Gets his options. Charge. Oh, a call out totally on the lob. Out that lob. Yeah. Atsushi, even though he's playing from behind, keeping himself in the game here. And this is all for just one point, mind you. Like, yeah, it's still only 2 1 right now, but yeah. no meter for Atsushi. He's going to have to work it back up. But look at that strong shot. Oh my gosh, he completely let that slip by him. Oh my gosh, who's going to get this point? And another perfect trick. He's back in the green. Yeah. Oh, and he has so much meter to work at. Aibu has to use up so much. Going to go right down the middle. Aibu doesn't have enough meter. Atsushi, for once in the set, going to have a two point lead right now. Yeah, that's true. It's been a while since we've seen someone be up by two. Right, I was going to have to stick back, work to build his meter back up, because he was in a very dangerous position after that point. Now, we've seen a few mistakes from Ibuprofen. This is his first offline event, so the nerves might be getting to him a little bit, but for the most part, he's been sticking strong. Yeah. Alrighty, right down the middle. Ibu's ready for it. Now they finally got meter back, but Ibu's still sticking a little bit behind. Waiting for the special shot to come in. I, I, I'm going to wait for Atsushi to like creep up a little bit. See if he can uh, get that special shot. But he's got to get that meter back first. He's been forced to use the zone speed a lot. Right. Now I am seeing that he is going for drops a little bit more. But because of the speed of Luma's shots, he doesn't have enough time to charge it to be like a decent drop. And you're yeah. getting these level one drops that uh, Atsushi is able to get fairly easily. Yeah. Keeping it all to the same side. Finally goes to the same side mix-up. Oh, there's the strong drop, and you see he has to come up to net. Yeah. Oh, Slice right down the middle. Ibu ready for it, though. Neither of these two letting up on this next point. There's the, there's a, there's a lob, though. All right, Atsushi back in the red, but gets the perfect trick, right as I say it. Oh, I, I didn't think he was in position for it. I thought he was going to get like a dead zone or something. Yeah, but I think he just he, got into the range. But still, he's still got quite a bit of meter to build back up unless he gets another perfect trick. And that lunge is not going to help him. Yeah, he did get the 80 rally bonus, though. So we're going to have to see how he keeps himself alive. It's just barely enough meter. There's the drop. Yeah. 3-2. He gets a nice, though. So he keeps himself in it. Oh, oh big lunge. Shot. Yeah, lots of meter. Did you see that? That was like pretty much a third of the entire meter bar. Yeah, and the lob, nothing. too. Both of them at very low meter. I was going to have to stay back to work it back up. Oh, and there's the flat. Yeah, now they both retreat to flat line. Oh, but he actually goes for it. The perfect trick shot. That's a big, uh, big lunge there, but he keeps himself alive. Close to the T. Keeps himself here. Fully charged flat, but Atsushi totally calls it off, and we're back in the neutral. Yeah. Aibu really uh, pushing towards the T now. Really trying to figure out what he can do. And Atsushi is just slowly building up the meter. Very conservative on the zone speeds, but he's keeping himself in the match here. Yeah, he usually is using zone speed to get himself into a position to uh, angle a shot that will throw Atsushi off. But Atsushi, I mean, his defense has been so strong this whole set with Luma. Oh, there's a drop shot. Using okay, a little bit. Okay, make it back, yeah. Ooh. I'm so scared like, when someone will be out of range for a shot, but just able to get that just fine. Okay, there's oh, a slam. Oh, oh. Out on the 
sidetrack and we're tied back up. Ibu making a comeback. Yeah, tried to get a call out on the direction of the slam. Not quite finding it. Both of them are halfway from getting the six points they need to move on in the bracket. And Ibu's in the better position with this meter. Yeah, but he's slowly making it back. He got the rally bonus as well. Back to a third meter. And the drops, you see? Like, he yeah. has to go up. He's got to use that meter. And now he's in a bad position. He's not in the back where he wants to be. Oh, that's a big... Okay. Oh, and yeah, a big get thing. Pushed that's going to be another point for Ibu. Ibu finally taking the lead now in this uh, last game here for both of these players. Gets a nice shot. He's close to full, so he might see a special coming from him soon. If he gets it right, ooh, but decides to go for a, a flat instead. Ooh, a big lunge comes in. Going to go for that lob that time. Oh, ooh, but another drop shot. Drop. Yeah, opting for zone speed this time around. Doesn't have meter to work with. That's a big lunge. Oh, okay, and yeah, that's going to be a gonna flat. Ibu get full charge shot and... See you later, Luma. You're all the way back there. Yep, <laughs> another point for Ibu right there. 5-3. One more to put himself at match point. Yeah, this is the best position he's been in all set, but a fully charged shot is going to definitely help out Atsushi. Ooh, a strong net flat, but gets pushed back by Luma's insane lob, and he's out of range Ooh. with the trick shot. Okay. Yeah, was, uh, I guess he thought that he was in the trick shot range, but not quite. The angle was a little bit too strong on that. And now all of a sudden, Atsushi with a lot of meter to work with, he can keep himself alive here, only down by a point, keeping, creeping up close to Aibu's uh, position here. Yeah, Aibu trying his best to drain the meter of Atsushi, but he's also low on meter, so he's got to back up. Yeah, he's uh, back to neutral, back to some meter buildup. Oh, the perfect trick that's going to help Atsushi get the meter lead, and he's going to go on the offensive. Yeah, goes on the lob. What's the next option? Goes cross court. Trying to force out the meter. What's the next option? Another flat. But the trick shot comes in. Another perfect trick. And oh, a big no. lunge comes in in the lob. And we're bringing it back to even. Five to five here in the last game. The next two points will seal it for these two. Now Atsushi has the lead. He's going to attack with his strong shots, with his jingle shots. Atsushi's still in this. Oh, a pushback with that. Very, very crucial. Shot right Ooh, there. Goes for the front trick on the flat. An interesting choice. Plus oh, he's going to be out. out. Atsushi one point away from being, <laughs> for taking out uh, one of the last two NA representatives in this bracket here. Oh, the lunge is huge. He's going to use a lot of meter to get back from this lob. And, and he Atsushi doesn't even get the fully charged uh, flat from the star. Oh, and Atsushi, okay, he's, used his own, he's playing a little bit safer with that zone speed. Wants to make sure he's in the right position. What's the decision making going to be? A flat across the stage, a flat, uh, flat right down the middle. Oh, man, he's gained so much meter. There's a drop shot, a lob, puts oh, him back, but a perfect trick shot. Oh man, right. these two going so back and forth. I know, this is very tense. I mean, this is set point for Ibu. He doesn't want to lose it here, especially when he's got the meter that he does now. He's going to try and be more offensive. The lob's going to push him back though. Okay. Very, a lot of time for that topsman to be able to charge onto it. Now both of these two with the meter available. Goes for the zone speed, another lob. Ooh, forces up some meter. Shot range there, he almost lost the point. Uh, you can hear in the audience the, the little heartbeat. Yeah, <laughs> the, the, thump, heart, thump. The, the heartbeat when you get match point, it's making my heartbeat a bit faster than normal, I'll tell you yeah. that. Yeah, oh my gosh. All right, here we go. Flat across the stage. Man, these two have so much meter to work with. I don't think either of them are gonna mess up on an execution here at such a crucial point in the match. Yeah, these guys have stepped up their game a lot once this match point started. I mean, they're both on full meter, very little mistakes coming from the both of them. Yeah, when we're seeing the longer rallies between these two, he also Ooh, already going to 70. I didn't think that was gonna work. I thought for sure that was a dead zone. I can't believe it. Oh my God. Oh, the pushback Ooh. goes for the special shot. What are we gonna see here? What's the option Asushi's gonna pick? He's got it, yeah. That, like, Does he have like enough? That. He's gonna let it go. Back. It's a tie break deuce. Now you have a, you need a two point lead. These two going down to the wire here. Huge point for Ibu, staying in this match after giving up that two point lead he had. Oh, and oh. now he goes for his special shot. Gonna be a meter reset it looks like. About halfway for Ibu, that's gonna pr pretty much uh, leave it to zero. Oh, that was great angle too. Now we got advantage for Atsushi here. Yeah, so back to match point for Atsushi, but the meter advantage is in Ibu's court. He, he did have serve though, so. Yeah, he did have that nice serve, that helped a lot. Yeah, brought him back to even in this game. At least for the meter. Now Ibu's gotta make something happen here. This is 
super scary for Ivu. I mean, two match points in a row. He's on the brink of elimination. He's just got to find a way to get it past this floating star. A big oh, lunch. big lunge! The, the lob he comes in, but he gets a perfect trick shot. It sets up perfectly. Look at him go to the net. He's attacking so hard, just trying to make him lose that meter. A big lunge from Atsuchi. He's back in the red. Okay, goes no for the lob, game. though. Yeah, decides to push him back a little bit. Gets a trick shot, but it's not a perfect one. He gets a second one this time. Ooh, the net. Net oh. coming in there, a little bit clutch for Atsushi. You yeah. a little bit more time for him to get centered. Mm -hmm. The topspin angle kind of throws off Aibu a bit, but he's back into the position. Atsushi still keeping it alive here. Okay, now he's back to about halfway meter. Oh, gets the perfect trick. They're both in the green once again. These guys are playing so well. The lock comes in. Oh, another trick shot. He's going to get right in position. Both of these two pretty much full meter. Atsushi with full meter, able to do the special shot if he does so desires. Ooh, almost fell, almost did a trick shot right there. That would have been a point for Ivu and brought it back to Deuce, but instead two perfect trick shots in a row. All right, down the middle. Ivu ready for it though. Oh, a big lunge though. And Ivu just trying to stay at T, trying to cause Atsushi to mess up in any way, shape, or form, but Atsushi just playing so strong, man. Yeah, on an 80 hit rally bonus right now. And what's this gonna be? It's gonna be a slam. Uses up a lot of zone speed. Goes across the, the court. Perfect shot, though. Oh, I know. He's so good at keeping up the survivability in this point. Atsushi really wants to take this. I, both these two not letting up for a minute here. Oh my gosh. I mean, even when they get to low meter, like they're both so good at getting it right back. Oh, another lob. Ooh, gets gets a lunge. Oh, that's a big lunge right there. Okay, gonna have to use up a little bit of meter, but he's fine. Okay, he's going on the offensive. He's going up to net, hoping that one of these slices causes another lunge that forces Atsushi to use more meter. Oh, big angle comes in. But well, Atsushi's ready for it. Gets another perfect trick shot. Now we got the special yeah, coming in. The drop. Ooh, goes for the fully charged slice instead of a lob. Trying to throw Atsushi, uh, Aibu off his game. Oh, and there's the lob. But we're ready. Oh, 130 rally bonus, dude. And already okay. down to halfway meter. Okay, uses the special. He does want to make sure that he gets this point, get out of match point, make it a two-point game once again, and that's gonna do it. My goodness gracious, we're still in a six-six tiebreak. Man, they were fighting so hard between these two. I know, and the resilience of Ibu, man, like two match points. That's where your heart's beating and you're going yeah. crazy. But he's stuck with it, and he's still in this match. And I mean, we're tied up. Yeah. All right, there's the lob. Has to use a little bit for zone speed, but so does that sushi. Yeah, back to oh, the third meter. Oh, lunge. that's a big lunge! The court. Oh my god, look at all that meter that just got lost there on that trick shot. Oh, and another fully charged lob! And Atsushi, match point once again. Three match points here so far. Yeah, and this time Atsushi's in such a good position. If he just builds up enough meter, he might be able to go for a special. But man, look at Aibu, look at him get it all back. Oh, the drop shot, oh. another big lunge! A lob to the other side! Gonna have to build up a lot of meter back for the situation to come oh, back. And he goes shot. for his own shot! Can he get it? Oh, oh he, he gets, gets the block! block. Oh, and gets another one. Okay. They're both low on meter. Oh, Atsushi has none, basically. No, Open oh, a big lunge. The lob shot Go comes there. in. That's going to be a pop. What's the option going to be from Atsushi? What is he going to pick? Goes for oh, the slice right, right down the middle. Him. And he oh takes it gosh. over Aibu here in a game three last point situation. You can see it on Atsushi's face. He is ecstatic to have won that match. And Aibu played his heart out, but he's got a smile on his face. Oh my goodness gracious, three match points. They fought it out to the end, man. That was ridiculous. I'm speechless, man. Yeah, and like just getting to hear the crowd erupt when they finally got that match point. It was so exciting. Look at behind me. Toma can barely hold himself together. Oh my God. Oh my gosh, guys. That was crazy. Welcome to Mario Tennis, everybody. You got exciting matches like that. Holy moly. Oh boy, that was. They really pushed each other to, the, to their limits there. Yeah. That I mean, was something. I mean, unfortunately, best player in Canada goes down, but, I mean, you saw it here. He's a competitor through and through, and he played him so well. Yeah. I don't think that he can be <laughs> upset with his performance there. I think that he played his heart out. Yeah. So he's going to get a little bit of time to rest now. We're going to yeah, be. Yeah, I keep better, man. <laughs> yeah. His heart's probably beating like crazy. Oh, man. Our, my, my heart was beating like crazy. Can you imagine yeah. what they, how they were feeling? Right. Especially with 130 rallies, like, being down to no meter. Like, one trick shot could mess up your entire flow. Like, yeah. And oh. now, a flip flop has happened. We had four NA competitors. We're down to only one, and he's sitting up there. Little biggest Jake was able to beat at Sushi to get into winners uh, finals, but now he's going up against what <sighs> many people would consider the best Mario tennis player in the world, Zeno. Yeah. I mean, uh, I think from what I've seen, he's pretty much. Oh. <laughs> 
Hey. Poor Yoshi. <laughs> Poor Yoshi. <laughs> oh, man. Well, yeah. Uh, Jake, uh, of course, a California resident. Uh, a little bit more north than... Uh, he's uh, he's near Fresno, yeah, uh, like Santa Barbara job. area. Yeah. yeah. So he's uh, a little bit <laughs> far from here, but still making the drive down to come to this event. And he's in winner's finals to be going up against Zeno. Right. Uh, last time at Heart of Battle, he lost to Atsushi two times, but... At that time, he was in a bit of a character crisis. He had been playing Shy Guy, but then right before the tournament, Shy Guy got nerfed. He thought that maybe he would try to switch to a different character. He didn't feel comfortable with anybody. And he personally feels that that's the reason why he lost to Atsushi. And he was able to beat Atsushi this time. And now, for the first time ever, he's going to be playing against Zeno. He didn't get a chance to play him last time at Heart of Battle. So, I mean, this is what many people consider one of the best players in NA going up against the best player in Japan, possibly the world. Yeah. Oh, man. I just remember, like, the first time at Heart of Battle, I just saw Zeno. And I'm like, who is this? And it's like, you got that Mario Tennis picture, like, for the profile and, like, everything. I'm like, oh, this kid must be really into it. And I checked the Twitter, and he's, like, a Japanese tennis ace player. And I'm like, oh, God, we're done. Yeah. <laughs> it's over, man. <laughs> he's very dedicated to the game. He's got the Mario Tennis aces polo that he was able to win for getting top of the leaderboard. Yeah. He's got trophies from Japanese tournaments that he's played in. Uh, he always shows up at the Aim for the Ace locals that they have in Japan. Usually wins them. Like, clearly, I would say one of the best players in the world. Yeah. And Little Biggest Jake, I mean, it's going to be quite a struggle because Aibu, the guy that you just saw, the guy that was playing his heart out against that sushi and was sticking with them for the most part, like, he kind of got walloped by Zeno before. It was, like, 14 to 2 point-wise. Yeah, it this was, kid's untouchable. He's That's so what, good. He looks so untouchable. Like, I, I want to see Jake have a, have a good shot at this, but... My like my heart says, <laughs> my heart and mind say <laughs> different things, man. Yeah, he, he's NA's last chance. Uh, this is the first time they're playing against each other. He's gonna be sticking with Peach, little biggest Jake. It was his original main back in September. Then he kept switching mains, switching mains. He was spiked for a little bit of time, but now he has settled on Peach. And Zeno will most likely go to his main Luigi. Yeah, starting off with Luigi. I've seen him pull out Toadette a couple of times, but I think for the most part we're gonna be seeing the the Luigi. But we'll see. Yeah, here we go. Yeah. <laughs> Green versus pink, and the court choice between the two will be knight. All righty. All right, and if I'm not mistaken, this is best three out of five. Yes, it is. So a lot even of if Jake loses the first couple of games, maybe he might be able to find something and work his way back. Mm -hmm. A lot of pressure's on Jake to defend the home turf, really. Yeah, a lot of pressure's on Jake. We had a few players that weren't able to make it out today from NA, like Angie and Schwelly, that are probably watching right now. Yeah. They're rooting for Jake in order to take it home for USA. Already starting off with a nice... Wow, they're just going at a T already. Yeah, Zeno, even though he is Japanese, and most people say that the Japanese play style is more defensive, he actually has a really strong punish game, just like that with his uh, side tricks. Mm -hmm. And, like, um, he usually goes up to T, and he can be very strong up there with his flats and slices. Yeah, I mean, man, that might be a reason why he's so good in Japan, because he plays so different from all the other ones, so it's something they don't expect. Right, and most people, I mean, Luigi is up there on the tier list, but not someone that people would consider to be like S tier. Yeah, definitely. But Zeno makes him look S tier for the yeah, most of them. definitely. But gets oh! the... Oh, he got there a point. Go. He got a point. We're tied up. There we are. Uh, you, you guys might be like, what? He got a point? Like, But this kid, honestly, like he barely dropped points like, in so the entire bracket. It was crazy. Extremely strong. And the big thing that's going to be here for Jake is that uh, Peach also has a really strong slice that she can utilize to stop the pressure from Zeno. Mm -hmm. But my goodness, look at him. Like he, Even when he lunges, like he's still in such a strong position. Yeah. And these lunges from Peach are going to hurt her a lot. She doesn't have the speed Ooh. that someone like a <laughs> Yoshi would have. So if she lunges, she's in a much worse position. The quick decision making from Zeno to go for a dead zone shot like that. That was so good. He just always seems to be in the right position at the right time. Even when you think that you've gotten past him, he's like in the right position and he's charging up and he's getting full meter. Yep, alrighty. But both of these two have meter available to use. Okay, but yeah, that's a that's a very Xeno tactic. Just goes up and if it can't hit the next shot, then he'll just go for a special. Right, and this angle's gonna be pretty nasty. Oh, doesn't get the trick block though. That would have been really big. Could have um, given him a meter advantage, but instead... Yep. Xeno goes up 3-1. Yep, goes for the meter. We have a meter reset now, both of them at about halfway. Okay, the yeah, pushback. Yeah, Lob is not strong against topspin, so it pushed Peach quite a ways back. All right, just goes down right across the court, and the Lob. Man, that, that used up so much of Jake's meter, and Zeno still in the green. Didn't have to use too much, but there's a lunge. Yeah, and what recognition. Like, Jake was totally going for a dead zone right there, and Zeno just knew, and he was right there. Gave him the point. I mean, he just knows everything. 
And he does like these little stutter steps. Usually Luigi isn't very good with his pivot. He's uh, one of the worst pivots in the game, but Zeno making it look amazing right now. Just yeah. always in the right position. Oh wait, there's a lob shot. Okay, another one, yeah. And uh, like we said before, if he has full meter, he'll go for a risk like that and then just reset the situation again. Right, and Ooh. he aims it right at him, so no trick shot was possible there. He could have raw blocked, but he didn't predict it. Man, you know how we were saying like all these matches have been so close so far? Yeah, 5-1 right now. But I mean, Jake is still playing fairly well. It's just Zeno is staying so strong, and this could be something. Yeah. Z oh, okay. A good call out. Yeah, this is the first time I've seen Zeno in a red. Big oh. opportunity, actually, for there Jake. And he's going to get a point. point. There, we there we go. And he's got the meter advantage. He's got Zeno in the red. Yeah, Jake heard us. He's like, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait. Okay, okay, I'll close another it up a little lunge. bit. Another lunge. Oh, that's another, another point. point. That's there another point. All righty, Jake bringing it back. It's a chance. Maybe something can <laughs> snowball here. He does have quite a meter advantage, and Peach does have the angles to make Luigi um, lunge. Yeah. But another big loss. Okay, using up a little bit of meter. Ooh, Ooh big lunge, lunge, though. No! Oh, a trick dead shot. zone! He was there, but he tried to predict it too hard. Yeah, oh man. Hey, he still he still got the meter advantage though. Bringing it back to a little bit even, gonna be a good angle. Oh, he doesn't get he doesn't fall for the dead zone. He just goes in with the trick shot. Yeah, but get the dead zone right there. Another point, 6-4, only two points away from tying it up, and once again has the meter advantage. Alright, what's the decision? Okay, goes for a slam into an immediate trick shot. Right across the other Another side, lunge. big lunge. Oh man, that uses so much meter. Lunge. Zeno, or excuse me, Jake with the opportunity. Goes for the front trick. Oh, but he knows to like keep Peach at bay. Do not want Peach to go to the net. So he's lobbing a bunch to avoid those nasty angles. Yeah, the top turn comes in. Another lob. Gonna go all Get the way the to the back trick. of the court. The drop shot. Gonna go right into it. Oh, what a call out with that double tap flat. Doesn't have the meter for a special, so he has to retreat. Okay, here we go. Another top Ooh, 10, push back, drop. drop shot. Is he gonna use it? He goes all the way, no meter to use. Wow, risking it all, and calls out the same side mix up. Oh, and another lunge though. Zeno really playing behind Jake on top of him right now. Gonna go ahead and get another flat to the other side. So much meter and so much opportunity for Jake to bring this to a deuce situation. Yeah, but think of the resilience of Zeno. Like he's been at low meter for this entire point, but he's still in it and he's close to making it even. Another lunge, goes all the way with the lob, but he's in the position for it. Oh, another lob, and look at all that meter that Jake has to give up. Just stay in this point. Oh my goodness. I'm tensing up right now, man. <laughs> it's only the first game, and they're already <laughs> pulling out all the stops so oh, far. Oh, another huge lunge. Oh, that's so much meter, already to a quarter. Oh, and he goes have to go on the other side. Jake really going in with oh, these angles. That's a point, it goes to One Jake, 6-5 right now. Up. Oh my goodness, if he could make Zeno lose just one game here, it would be a huge <laughs> win for him. I know, right? Oh my god, Jake looking like he's on top of the world right now. Calls out that lob, great play by Jake, but now Zeno once again slowly but surely building up that meter, but man, Jake's been doing such a good job making him lose it real quick. Yeah, Zeno not ready for the same side mix up. Oh. Again, all these lunges really throwing off Zeno here on his flow. Perfect trick, staying in the green. Oh, big lob. Okay, slam right down the middle. That's a trick shot. Another lob. Ooh, that's a big lung actually. But gonna keep himself alive here. Just went to the other side, so forces out some meter from Zeno. Oh, overestimated the range of Luigi. Okay, tops into the other side. Oh, but didn't want to use meter there. Got a lunge, and now Zeno back in the green. He's feeling comfortable, but I mean, Jake's been keeping up for him. Yeah. He's gonna have to do another meter burn or something or get like a crazy angle right oh. down the middle. Jake's ready for it. Doesn't want to preemptively trick shot this time. Yeah, I mean, it still is match point for Zeno. So one mistake by Jake and that's gonna be oh. the zone shot. Oh, that's oh gonna man, do that's it for such sure. a bad angle. Oh. oh my goodness. But I mean, hey, 6 5 against Zeno is something to be happy about. Yeah, that's still like two more games. <laughs> that's like six times the amount of points everyone else has done against that Zeno. Was, that was, I, would, I think that's more points than that Zeno has lost here than he had lost in Heart of Battle. In yeah. that one game. Yeah. Maybe even in this tournament as well. Yeah. Like, that was really great. Okay. P <laughs> PK. Yes. <laughs> we were doubting Jake, and as soon as we did that, he started winning. So we have to doubt Jake more. Yeah, There's okay. no way Jake can he win this. <laughs> no, no, no. I mean, listen, who got the match point? Oh, Zeno my God. Zeno got the God. match point. He won game one. I'm expecting a 3-0 double bagel. It's not going to be close. Yeah, this is uh, like, like, oh, my God. All right. Oh, yeah, make sure to check those controls. 
Man, oh. that was that was way too close for comfort. I think even Zeno felt that one. Oh yeah, I mean he was lunging a bunch, but like once again the resilience of Zeno. Like he yeah. was at low meter for so many points. There was so many opportunities that Jake had to tie it back up. But mm -hmm. Zeno stayed strong and he played so well. But now we are on Jake's favorite court, Savage C. This is his favorite. He says that he gets a Savage C buff every time <laughs> he's here. So he chooses to go there for the counter pick and he gets first serve as well. Alrighty. Jake putting himself in the position. Here we go. Already starting off at the tee, getting some nasty angles in. Yeah, wow, these two really on the rally at T. Yeah, not even team. using zone speed. Yeah, T monsters. I mean, look at the positioning of Zeno. And ooh, right as I say that, he gets a lunge. First mistake. I'm waiting for a lob. There we go. Zeno strikes with the first one. There's the second one there. Ooh, both lunge at each yeah, other. I didn't want to use the meter for the side trick. Decided yeah. to lunge for it. They're like, all right, all right, all right. We're not going to use meter, but we're going to have to sacrifice some <laughs> lunges instead. Ooh, a lob yeah. comes in. Yeah. So both of them special. have a good amount of meter here, so Jake can stop it, but this angle is going to be really sharp. Oh, it goes right at Goes over him. Yeah, okay. I, it looks like Jake wasn't ready for it. I think he, he was definitely expecting, like, at, right at the net or something like that. Right, and for people to know, while we do see it as a split screen, um, they do not. So he can't screen look to see where the ball is going. Yeah. So he just has to predict. All right, both to the same side. Yeah, that, sh that that exact angle when he gets right at the net and then decides to flat to the other side, that has really been making Zeno burn a lot of meter. It's yeah. great, great setup for Peach. I mean, that's been Jake's best part of his gameplay so far, is that he's been able to make Zeno drain his meter. And when he can do that, uh, that's when the points can start rolling in. But once again, Zeno's defense is so strong that even at low meter, it's hard to get one by him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this uh, building is so much meter. Luigi staying at the tee here. Gonna have to be careful, but that's a special shot coming in soon. Right, both of them at full meter, but like these guys are tee monsters. And like I said, Zeno is so offensive. Look at him go right to the net, forcing yep. a lunge and goes for the special. Yeah, that's pretty much gonna be a free point unless Jake decides to burn it, but I highly doubt it. Yeah. Yeah, tries to trick shot it, but decides Not to range. stay in the green. Mm -hmm. Right down the middle to each other. Wow. Oh, well, Jake is there, losing so much meter. meter, man. Yeah, this is looking more like the first few points of game one where Zeno just had the meter and was able to do whatever he needed to. Yeah. But still, it's only 3-0, so he could make a comeback like he did in game two. But, like, it's going to take some something on Jake's part. Mm-hmm. Alrighty, that, that, that cost a little bit of meter, so at least we're back to even on the meter, but Jake yet to get a point so far, so he's really got to dig deep and try and find something. Yeah, Luigi's range is really good in this game, so I mean, getting a shot by him can be really, really tough. Goes for the dead zone, but doesn't get dead zone. Mm -hmm. Oh, slam right down the middle. Oh, Zeno ready for it. I mean, being at T is such a good position for Zeno because he can react to drop, lob, pretty much any shot and he still has all that meter to work with. Even if he gets tripped up, mm -hmm. he can use uh, some zone speed. And right. he mainly is using it for these special shots. I think every single point has been through a special shot as another one goes right by Jake. Yeah. Man, Jake was doing so well the first game, and then uh, it's kind of, I feel, I feel like Zeno just, uh, is just figuring out how, what Jake's strategy is with the yeah. beach so far. Oh, and oh. the L cancel lunge right there. Yeah. I mean, Zeno, probably someone that can adapt very, very well. So mm -hmm. I wouldn't be surprised if, like, even after only one game, maybe he could have, he could read what Jake wants. Yeah. And Jake has made him lunge quite a few times, but, like, it really hasn't resulted in too much. So. Yeah. It's not a really deep lunge. It's a pretty short altogether, all just yeah. like a few a, a few meters off or something like that. So, but here we go. Another lunge comes in. All right down the middle. Jake trying to keep himself alive here. Yeah, slowly but surely, Zeno is building that meter back up for another special because that has been his main way of scoring against Jake. And looks like he's going to get it here. Oh, but gets lunge. He still has the opportunity. Oh, okay, goes for a trick shot that time. I thought he might have gotten for special. 
Yeah, what I'm really liking about both of these players is that they're like, you know, they're not at baseline. They're attacking each other so much up at the T. Mm -hmm. And like every single one is just attack. And a very rare special coming out from Jake. We'll see where he aims it. Yeah, let's see if Zeno's ready for it. Ooh, wow. He gets the block. Okay, that's oh, doesn't go for the drop. Oh, okay, yeah. I thought he was gonna go for a drop shot for sure, but uh Zeno is going to keep himself alive here. Oh, how is he back at full meter already? Yeah, look at him. He's already at full meter, and now if he can just get a lunge like that, I'm sure that a special from Zeno is going to be coming soon. There it is. Yep. All righty. Another point probably going to Zeno here. Oh, aims it right at him. No trick shot can stop that. Yep. And we have our first bagel in the making right now. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Hey, tries to go for a slam, not quite finding anything. Oh, oh whoa. This is it. Oh, never mind. <laughs> yeah, but he's in a really bad position. He's look at all this meter he has to do just to get this shot. He's, another one's coming. Yeah, yeah, that's gonna do it. Okay, that's uh that that is the bagel. That <laughs> is a bagel. The first one we've seen. <laughs> yeah. This whole this whole uh it's a shame block that after so that far. First yeah. game got so close to tying it up and then follows it up with a bagel on his favorite court as well. Yeah, the 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 Savage C buff was not enough, man. Yeah, it didn't really do too much. It might have been a D buff in this case. Mm-hmm. Now, Jake will be sticking with Peach. I know that. He doesn't really have any other character to go to, and I don't see Zeno going off of Luigi, especially in a 2-0 lead. But, like, I mean, anything can happen here. It's still another court counter pick for Jake, so he might try to go somewhere crazy. All righty. I have faith in Jake. I mean, he, he's shown it. He's shown a couple of times that he was in a position to win. Yeah. And I feel like that first game was the best glimpse that – he has had yet, mm -hmm. and hopefully, I mean, we're going back to Night Court, we'll see if this might give him another snowball opportunity to maybe take a game. Yeah, we'll have to see. Zeno up to all right now. Uh, Zeno's going to Night get Court. first serve, too. So he's going to get the meter advantage if he gets it nice. Yeah. And he does. Woo! Strong angles already starting off between both these players, but a big lunge. Yeah, just look at the slice of Luigi so fast, even Peach can't react to it. Oof. Gets the perfect trick on that too, and the meter advantage is already so huge. Alrighty, Jake's still keeping himself alive. Gonna get that slam, gets a little bit of charge, and now he's back in the yellow finally. We, we got a 30 seen, rally bonus. We haven't seen a change in gameplay with Jake. He's sticking to his T-line gameplay. Very similar to how Zeno does it. Yep. Peach is one of those characters that he, uh, she can be pretty versatile and she could stick back and maybe attack from the baseline if she needs to. Uh -huh. But that's just not the way that Jake plays. Very competitive first point between these two. Ooh, but get the zone. dead zone. I, if he didn't move a little bit, like towards the ball, and then trick shot it, I think he would have gotten it if he just straight trick shot it from where he was. So that was, oh man. Yeah, I think the, the main reason being that when most people go for trick shots, they try to aim it right to the edge of the court. But Zeno being smart, goes for the dead zone with the front trick and completely yeah. catches Jake off guard. Oh wait, the big lunge comes in. Oh, big lunge. But he gets right back in it. Yeah. So Jake has full meter, but he's going to wait until he's in a good enough position to really utilize it. Yeah. I think his Ooh, main goal is spin. To, his main goal right now is just to try and get the ball past Zeno without having to use meter, but like it's so hard. Yeah. All right, there's another lob. Slams right in, but he gets the right counter for it. A big another lunge comes in, drop shot. Oh, Ooth the net. net. Okay, that actually helps. And that gets actually the fully charged drop. There mm -hmm. you go. Tied back up. Yep. Yeah, normally, there's been a meme in the community that the net is always against Jake, but that time it really helped him out. Yeah, that was really huge for Jake. Helped him get the point, but now Zeno, like, he's going to have a straight shot either at Jake or angled all the way across the court. Ooh, he's going for it. Gets the big block, but yep. can't do anything with it. He's too busy spinning out. Yeah. But Zeno doesn't have that much meter right now until he gets the nice serve, and now he has <laughs> Make me eat my words, why don't you? Calculate it. Oh, uh, big. That's a really nasty lunge, actually. Forces Jake to use a lot of meter there. Yeah, I mean, this is his chance to maybe get Zeno to lose that meter, but like, that slice of Luigi is just so strong, throws Peach off balance. Uh, both of these two, well, they're increasing each other's meter now. Oh, they were. I think uh, Zeno didn't expect to go over his head like that. Yeah. Oh, side trick was really quick. Not enough to react. 
Using up some meter there. Forces him to go back, though. Ooh, look at that smash. But oh! he completely messed him up. Yeah. You saw him go back and forth. He just didn't even know what to do. Yeah, it was like, okay, he's going to go the other side. And he saw the angle, but then he thought, okay, like, I did, do not expect the slam to go right towards me. Yeah, he realized that he couldn't side trick it. And by the time that he chose to try and go for it himself, the point was over. Yeah. Gets the side trick on that. And it sails over his head. Sometimes side tricks can sail over their head when they're far back in the court and look mm -hmm. to do that and really save Zinus behind because he was so far back and the drop was most likely coming. All right, a front trick has enough range for it. Now Zeno's really losing in the meter battle here. Yeah, he's got zero meters. It's a big opportunity. For oh, but a big lunge. And oh, that lob's no. going to force Jake to lose his meter and push him back. Yeah, now Zeno's back to meter available. It's like every time you think Zeno's in danger, he finds a way to bring himself back into it yeah. immediately. I mean, that's why we call him one of the best players in the world. He yeah. finds a way through thick and thin to build back meter or get the point right when he needs it. Both of them back in the green, just trading shots back and forth at T. Flats and slices and gets the dead zone. All right, we're going 4-0 right now. Or, oh, excuse me, 4-1, 4-1. Right, there's a lob. What's the option gonna be? Not opting for the special shots this time around. He's staying close to T, though, in case the opportunity does arise. He's getting closer. Yeah, <laughs> I, guess, at, I get scared every time. Right, that single tap slice right there was definitely going for a dead zone, but both of them at full meter, and they don't feel like they have to attack too much. They're just going to hope that one of them lunges and then maybe punish with a super strong charge shot. Yeah. Oh, like Ooh. that. Okay, that's forces some meter down. Not quite, though. Oh, and does go for the special. I was going to say, like, this was a prime time for a special. Zeno's all the way on the left side of the court. He can hit it off to the right. Oh, and doesn't get the trick block. So that's going to be another point for Jake. All righty. Bringing in 4-2. And he has the meter advantage. Let's see. I don't think he has serve, though. Oh, he does. And he gets the nice. Yeah, Zeno uh, pretty much into red. He's going to have to. Oh. For the first time, Zeno was playing far back and was able to build his meter back quite efficiently. Right, still going back and forth. Yeah, they're just kind of allowing each other to get meter. Oh, but there we go. That's a very nice angle. Takes out, the, takes out the meter from Zeno. Ooh, tricked him up a little bit. Had to use a side trick to hit that one. And once again, Zeno in the red. Look at that front trick. I mean, it happens so quick that Jake doesn't know how to react. But a dead zone. 4-3. Yeah. Wow. Usually you don't see uh, Z uh, Zeno fall for those. But uh, really keeping it close to the wire here. And the meter is gone from Zeno. Big opportunity. Let's see what the option is going to be after the lunge. Oh, oh, man. That immediate reaction with the with the lob, dude. Yeah, I mean, those are really important for Jake. Like, once he gets Zeno to that point and he has the meter advantage, he's got to score. He's got to commit. But Zeno's just doing such a grand job, especially with his lobs, knowing exactly when to use them to push Jake off his tail. Across to the other side. Yeah, Zeno, in the blink of an eye, he's already got all of his meter back now. Yeah, we're back, uh, both of them at full. So another special from Zeno might be coming if he gets a good uh, court position. Ooh, oh, the, gets oh, the net, <laughs> but also gets the perfect. I'm oh not sure God. about that. I'm so mad about that, dude. I thought that was going to be a dead zone I after that. For sure. Yeah. going back and forth. They're playing more defensive this time. They're staying more towards the baseline than they have been in past. Oh, all the way across the court. He's going to be fine, though. Are we going to see the special shot come in soon? No, he's going to use it for zone speed. Ooh, uh, 80, 80 hit uh, rally so far. Yeah, this is probably the biggest rally that these two have had. I mean, and they're just going at it. Oh, big lunge. Yeah, forces up about a third of meter. Can he make it happen again? Oh, and it's back. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Like I said before, lobs are very susceptible to getting perfect trick shotted, and I think almost every time Zeno is ready. Yeah, 100 hit rally right now between these two. Ooh, same side lob, almost tricked up Jake. This would be really big for Jake, just to be able to say that he's tied up with Zeno 4-4. That'd be a huge opportunity for him. Yeah, but it looks like Zeno's uh, <laughs> defensive play is just uh, impeccable right now. Just. Uh, Unstoppable defense right now. Gets the perfect trick shot, though. Oh, so big lunge comes in. Going to have to force oh, up a little bit lunge. of meter. Okay, yeah. Going to have to go all the way back for that one. At all least he gets the, 
At least he can get a perfect trick shot off that. He won't gain meter, but at least he won't lose extra meter. An interesting call from Zeno. I thought for sure he was going to go for the special, considering how low meter Jake has, but I guess he just didn't feel it was worth it. I think now he might go for it. Oh, interesting call again. Yeah, he's changing up his play style a little bit. Mm -hmm. We yeah, saw Jake. It before on Savage G, he was going for specials very often. Yeah, Jake comes back into the meter. Yeah, 160 rally now. Dang, that's pretty crazy. These guys are just going at it. I mean, this is a very important point. If Jake can tie this up, then he might have a chance at taking this game three. Yeah. Oh, but oh, the knock the push back. back, the drop shot. He's going to have to burn up a lot of meter, but he's back into it. Still got halfway meter, so he can still make this work. This is probably one of the best rallies Zeno has ever had. It's definitely yeah. one of the best for Jake. <laughs> I mean, we're nearing... Like 130, 140 right now. I think we're at 200. We're at oh 200. My I, did, I would not have predicted <laughs> that. Oh man, both this of these two. Ridiculous. Suits. Oh my gosh. It's like I'm getting hypnotized by it. You know, know. it's like it's the rhythm crazy. of it. A part of me almost doesn't want someone to score just to see <laughs> yeah. how far they can go. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's like, but like 199. We still got a tournament to run, and I know all the other games would be like, come on. <laughs> yeah. I think we allotted three hours, so I think we'll be okay. But still, man, this rally is going on for. For a pretty long time, actually. Yeah, I mean, both. It makes sense. Both of them are a near full meter. They don't really have to use it too often. Side tricks don't use too much, and even if they lunge, they have enough meter to recover right back. <laughs> you can see all the Smash players are looking at it. It's like, damn, neither like, of yeah, these like, two have scored. Going crazy, <laughs> <man>. Yeah. <laughs> I'm waiting for it. 250. 250 guys. Quarter of a thousand. <laughs> Oh, the net, though! Oh, that oh, misses of Jake, too! The drop shot. Oh, hey. that, and Zeno does get the point. Two points away from taking this game and taking the set. The mental fortitude, man. 250 rally. I've never seen that before. Yeah, I've seen higher, but we're talking about DK Ditto's, like, 900 shot rally. But, oh, man. I mean, that's way, way back in the day. And now, set point for Zeno, 6-3. Yeah. I think we might be seeing a stamina issue because uh, that was just two points that flew by in a second afterwards after that huge rally. So yeah, I mean, we'll it see. It takes a lot of mental fortitude to go through a rally like that. And yeah. Zeno, I mean, maybe he's used to it because he's looking as strong as ever. Well, yeah. Jake, oh, yeah, this he's might gone. be it for him. He's gone. Uh, does he have enough meters? No, oh. oh, not quite. That's going to do it. Jake is out 0-3, sent to losers by Zeno. And into grand final, Zeno goes. Yep. And I think everybody watching is like, yeah, he probably has the best chance of winning this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, so there's going to be the run back, uh, Jake and Atsushi. Oh, yeah. Playing in wow. again. <laughs> this is, oh, this is, I mean, this is pretty big. This is kind of like their own set, because Atsushi's now up in sets 2-1. This is Jake's chance to tie it back up, or maybe Atsushi could take a 3-1. Yeah, we'll have to see, because uh, Jake double eliminated by Atsushi, and then Atsushi can double eliminate. <laughs> Yeah, to uh, my knowledge, I don't think Atsushi played Luma versus Jake, so he might have been saving him for the top six to surprise him. Yeah. So I'm really excited to see what he's going to throw at him. Mm -hmm. This will be interesting. This will also be best of five. Let's see if the, let's see how it goes between these two because, oh, man. But now you guys know what we meant by <laughs> Zeno being a very, very, very strong player. Very strong player. Yeah, that's the first, like, 3-0 we've seen. Or, yeah, like, a two. there's no 2 O's or anything. Yeah. yeah. Oh, no, uh, Mike, uh, Mike lost to Ibu. Too. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. But this is the first three oh, we saw, so mm -hmm. that counts. Yeah, that's... <laughs> All righty, let's see. But Jake already doing a phenomenal job so far. Yeah, uh, now, I, I mean, it must be really hard after going through a set like that, and it's like, okay, your next match. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, he's, he's got to, like, calm himself down, get himself into a rhythm, and possibly a completely different play style with that sushi. Yeah. That would be very interesting. Man. At sushi. I mean, he's been fighting through, man. He's been on match point a couple times. Yeah. Two game three situations. That thing with Ibu. Oh, my goodness. And now here he is going up against, once again, one of the best players in NA, Little Biggest Jake. Like I said before, unfortunately, we couldn't have all of our players come out here. Angie, who many people would consider the best player in NA, uh, yeah. wins, like, almost all the tournaments. She wasn't able to make it out today. We and then... We wish her luck in all of her endeavors. Yeah, but, and then um, uh, Devil Wolf couldn't quite make it either. Yeah. Uh, he's, no, he's considered number one in Europe, I yeah, believe. Yeah, as well yeah. as Phenom Nam, an amazing DK player in Europe. But we did have Dejuel, who came all the way from Italy, so shout outs, shout outs to him. Mm -hmm. uh, next Switch Fest, maybe we'll get all three of them. Nope. <laughs> that, um, that would be something to see. That would be very exciting. Yeah. I look forward to it. I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> if there is a Switch yeah, Fest, of course, question, of course. Qu question mark, yeah. question mark. Maybe you decide. <laughs> <laughs> all righty. All right. <laughs> I mean, Are they ready? 
Looks like it. Man, Atsushi looks so ready, man. He's stoic, he's calm, he's composed. Yeah. Jake, I mean, he's got to calm himself down and see what can happen here. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, I, I feel like uh, his energy, he can always divert it. Uh, he, he, he always plays in tournaments while streaming at the same time. That is so, true. He, so he always splits his energy. So I think it's, it's definitely possible. Let's see. Are we going to get a princess battle? Are we going to get the Luma? Oh, that would be interesting. We haven't seen Daisy very much this tournament. Usually a front row. Angie plays Daisy. Ooh, Bowser. I'd hmm. really like to see Peach versus Bowser there. Take me back to the 1.0 days. That will be funny. Remember when Bowser was like <laughs> Jake's uh, kryptonite, basically? Yeah, that's true. Waluigi? What are you doing? Oh, Whoa! Luigi, Waluigi! <laughs> Here we are. <laughs> Waluigi kind of mid-tier. Like, he used to be super, super good. I think people remember this back in the day, too. He was, like, up there with Junior. But don't worry. He got his nerfs. He's not as crazy as he was. Yeah. But Still, everyone plays him online, though. Yeah, everyone. <laughs> always run into a Waluigi. There's a reason why something like Ladder Waz exists, because of Waluigi. Yeah. Um, so with Waluigi, he's a defensive character, so he has ridiculously good range. Mm -hmm. And his main attacking option is going to be his Whoa. slice. I'm not sure what happened there. Just yeah. missed the back trick. Mm -hmm. that was, I guess right outside the range of it. That was unfortunate. Yeah, so the thing that Waluigi's going to have to go for is the slice, and what Peach is going to look for is angles, because even though huh. he's got a lot of range, um, angles can really stifle him. But right now, yeah. Atsushi's starting off really strong. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I hope everyone's enjoying the wah, wah, <laughs> the entire match. You're going to be hearing that for a long time. And of course, we get to see his amazing trick shot, the moonwalk. Oh, yeah, exactly. It's always so much fun to see. Mm-hmm. If only real tennis could be like this. <laughs> yeah, just moonwalking just all moonwalking over the place. moonwalking and cartwheeling everywhere. Yeah, moonwalk on him. All right, right here we go. Okay. Oh, there's a lunch. Right, there's the lob. Okay, going to go right past him. There we go. There's a lunge. Moonwalk to the other side. Yeah, now NA does have their share of Waluigi's, but... Um, most of them on ladder, they tend to stay in one place and try to build up meter for specials. Yeah. From what I'm seeing with that sushi right now, he knows how to move around, he knows how to L cancel, and so it's gonna be really, really hard to get a shot past him. Yeah. Yep, just gonna quickly respond to that slam very easily. Yeah. I'm pretty certain that his goal is going to be to get Jake off balance and then go for the most stylish special in the game, if I can say so myself. I'd love to be able to show it to the stream. Alrighty, yeah. Both of these two keeping up the survivability, though. It's funny because this is also grass. This is considered Peach's best court, but Waluigi's standing strong. Yeah. All right, just goes top spin all the way to the other side. And even a strong star shot like that wasn't enough to get it past Waluigi. He's just doing such a good job maneuvering himself. And while also providing really strong shots that Jake has to contend with. Mm -hmm. And that's she rarely getting a lunge, like you said before, though, that Waluigi's range is pretty great. He's got those long, lanky arms, so wouldn't make sense if he didn't have good range. <laughs> yeah, but you can also see that his angles are certainly not great. Um, what he has in defense, he lacks in offense. So Jake, being a strong defensive player that he is, won't really fall too often for Waluigi's shenanigans. Mm -hmm. And especially with the meter lead that he has now. But oh, here it is. there we go. Yeah, that's a Waluigi strat I'm looking for. Getting, because he can gain meter very easily. So Got can. him with the rose. Yep. And hits it straight down, but gets big blocked. Ooh, hits it right at him. Okay, and we're back to a meter reset, it looks like. Oh, uses way too much meter on that trick shot. Now they're both at zero. Oh, I gets sliced it. down the center. Wow. All right, both of them at very little meter. We'll see how this affects their game plan. Yeah. Atsushi, we've seen him before. He likes to stick back when he needs to to build up that meter. But Jake, mm -hmm. he feels comfortable staying at T. Oh, a couple of bad shots from Waluigi. He's getting pushed back. Yep. And here's All a right. special. Yeah. Waluigi doesn't have too much meter to work with here, so you can potentially see the next point and go to... Ooh, oh, my it. God! What timing. Yeah, that was crazy. Very nice stuff from Atsushi. Oh, almost dead zoned him, but didn't side trick. Now we're, they're both back in the green. A big play by Atsushi to stay in this point and keep his lead. All right, what's the option going to be? Okay, goes for a sl uh, flat right down the middle. There's the drop shot. Yeah, neither of these two letting up. This has been a very pretty long rally, uh, too. Are right, going into 50? Yeah, while Luigi tends to provide a lot of long rally situations just because of his range. But once again, we're seeing another special. 
Gets it, it, again. it again. Look at this guy. Wow, he's uh, he's the king of the of these uh, of these trick blocks right yeah, now. Yeah, very rarely have we seen him have to break his racket, and he just mm -hmm. keeps getting these trick blocks, and he gives him the meter advantage he needs. And look at him, yep. he's gonna use a special. Yeah. Man, I wish I was that flexible. Yeah, exactly. Well, it would be <laughs> surprisingly flexible for his frame. What's he gonna oh. do here? Right Ooh, down. Slice the it center. right down. Okay. Gets it. What a side trick. How yeah. did he even get over there? No meter though for Jake. Gonna have to get make something happen. Ooh, but gets it. Oh, okay. Atsushi not going for a side trick to get that, and Jake gets the point. Yeah, but Atsushi gets a nice on the serve. Gonna keep himself alive here. And he's got st he's still got the three two lead. True. He is feeling pretty comfortable, and he does have full meter once again. But like I said, grass and peach go together like peanut butter and jelly. So yeah. I mean, these angles from Peach are going to be really scary for Waluigi if he can't stay on on top of them. The option? Okay, goes for a top spin right down the middle, and we got a special shot. All now right. I believe Jake is stunned right now, so he might not even be able to get this if it's angled correctly. Ooh. He's back. Ah, oh. oh, couldn't quite get the trick shot there. Yeah, we're seeing the difference in play. I mean, Atsushi got two of them in a row. Yeah, Jake no. didn't even get that one. Yeah. The timing is different for every character. And like I said before, NA usually doesn't play with specials, so they might not even be too used to trick blocking as mm -hmm. much as the Japanese players are. Ooh, oh, goes right behind him. Okay, yeah, he gets the save, though. He has to give up a little bit of stage control, though, because of it. Well, and also meter, because now Waluigi's back at full, so he can throw out a special at any time. Once again, <laughs> And once again, he, he gets him stunned, so that's more meter that Peach is going to have to waste to get this shot. Yeah. Ooh, goes towards Jake's direction. Going to yeah. get that block, but he's going to be stunned. Right down to the left side. Ooh, can he side trick it? Yes, he can, but it's going to be a very slow shot. Yeah, no meter now for Jake, so he's got to have to make a couple lucky guesses. Ooh, or like a perfect that. trick shot, yeah. Ooh, the drop shot forces him to side trick it. Yeah, and all of a sudden, Jake brought back his meter. I thought that could have been a point for Atsushi, but Jake with the defense. Oh, he made but oh the no! High pot. No, well, yes, a high pot tech. A high pot tech is when you play Peach and you back trick and miss. <laughs> As done by high pot uh -huh. too many times to count. Another special. Man, I hope you guys are really enjoying that image burned into your mind. Yeah. There we go, 5-2. Atsushi playing so strong. Yeah. He's technically doing better than <laughs> Xeno uh, did on the know, first game. You know, that's true. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, this is a completely different matchup compared to Luigi. Yeah. Oh, okay, there we go. There's a special. I think they're going to have to trade special to special because, like, Jake just hasn't been able to score on How him. did he get but another he one? Getting him, How did he get another one? I'm so upset right now. <laughs> He's too good at this. Like, the <laughs> one real scoring opportunity that Jake has, and he keeps stuffing it out. Yeah. And look at him. He's staying at the net. And oh, again, that's another point probably. No reason not to do it, man. It's been getting him so many points, and this will likely be point number six. Whoo, boy. Wow, alrighty. Yeah, reminder that Waluigi was first created through Mario Tennis, so he is the, he's kind of like the mascot. So mm -hmm. it's kind of great to see him here in top uh, top three. Oh, uh, the dead zone okay. gets him. Waluigi takes game one. Alrighty, <laughs> Waluigi. Atsushi is so to, proud of that. He might not be able to make it to any of the Smash tournaments here, but <laughs> <laughs> thanks, thanks to this, we're able to see Waluigi here at Switch Fest. Yeah. Uh, I mean, uh, probably in the Mario Kart tournament, some people oh, are using true. him. He's pretty good in Mario yeah, Kart. Yeah. yeah. He's got like the right weight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He he makes a uh, he he makes it so you can accelerate really easily. Oh, there you yeah. go. Mm -hmm. All righty. All right, so I mean, Oof. I don't expect that Sushi to change character. I don't and, think so either. And once again, that was Peach's best court was grass. Uh huh. So for him to beat him on that court, like counter picking is gonna be pretty hard for Jake right now. Yeah, maybe he, maybe he'll get the Savage C uh, level up this time. Yeah, maybe it didn't work against Zeno, but it might work again at, at Sushi. I mean, it did before. The Ooh. spike, spike the gang, the return of the Spike Society. Spike Society. Yeah, and we're going to Savage C. So Jake for a while was a Spike main, but then switched off him, deciding to go more towards Peach for the offensive gameplay. Yeah. I'm afraid to say, but this might be quite the match in terms of time played because both of these characters are baseline heavy and Spike is very strong at baseline so he's going to be sticking back a lot more often mm -hmm. but I'm interested to see what Jake's going to do maybe the angles at baseline might be enough to throw Waluigi off Alright, just the slow meter build up between these two Not playing too much at baseline Jake actually pushing to the T right now Yeah, maybe because um, 
Spike, despite his small frame, is a power character. Mm -hmm. So he might be able to utilize that to his advantage, push Waluigi back from T, and be able to charge up more shots. Yeah. I love that trick shot sound that Spike makes. Oh, and there yeah. we go, another special. Yeah, got it on the lob, so this angle's gonna be pretty nasty. Oh, oh the goes head over of him. Spike, but he gets it. Okay, he's fine, but he still has to spin a bit. Gonna have to burn up a little bit of meter, but he actually gets a meter advantage now. Yeah, that's what's scary about specials. If it does get blocked, and we saw it in the last game, like it does put you at that meter advantage, so it can be scary to use them at times. All right, gets that trick shot. Moonwalks to the other side. All right, but now Spike getting a little bit more offensive and decides to use the special. Here comes the iron bar. You know, I've never actually seen this before, so. Whoa, Ooh, that, that sound effect. We got a lot of bass out of that one, I'll <laughs> oh, tell you Oh, man, what. that was, cr wow. <laughs> but once again, Atsushi able to block it, no problem, and he gets the first point. Yeah. I didn't even know that's what he did. He eats the racket and turns into like a spike bar. That's yeah, that's what he does in, in the Mario games. So. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, a zone shot coming out, forcing a lot of meter out from Jake, but not too much, but this is going to oh, be a big Oh, that's unfortunate. Shot. Yeah, big shot. Goes for the lob that time. So Jake is deciding to play a T with Spike, who's normally a baseline character. I think trying to get it past him with some type of angle, but I'm not sure what he can really do against such a strong character. Alrighty, yeah. Asushi with the impeccable defense still. Not letting a single slam go past him. This is what Waluigi loves, just being able to wall out the opponent and then eventually wear him down with his slices and maybe get a special out of it. Reminder, there's only been one point scored so far. <laughs> I know, yeah. Like yeah. I said, this might be a battle which, I mean, we saw that he could hold his own against Zeno, but this is a whole different beast. Yeah. Yep, this is uh, definitely going to, I have a feeling. I have a feeling this will be one of our longer rallies. Already at 70 here. Yeah. Unless one of these two mess up. It's totally possible. Oh, it's absolutely like, possible. Like, you, to, to stay focused for that long, like, yeah. can definitely uh, put a toll on your brain. Oh, oh, just like that. Yeah, like, he just didn't okay, even think go. about it, thought he could reach it, and that's a point for Jake. Tie yeah. it up. Big lunge, though. Gonna have to force him to be in a bit of an awkward position. Trying to lob it, trying to call out Jake's approaches to the net, but nothing happening. Slowly but surely, he's pushing Waluigi back, so maybe he could utilize a drop. Because like I said before, bigger characters like Waluigi have a little bit more trouble moving up and down the court. So yeah. Drops can be especially scary. Man, oh, there we go. Jake playing at the net very well so far. Forcing Waluigi to stay back so that he can react to whatever shot he gets. Ooh, that goes past him. Oh, but a lunge is going to build that meter bike up. Yep. Let's see, I'm waiting for the rally score bonus on the top. Where are we at? Yeah. 50, okay. Unfortunately, Jake's the type of player that tries to make you play his game. Usually he likes to stay at T, be aggressive, make you lose that meter, but he really has to play with that Sushi and go at his pace, which can be really, really tough. Yeah, another zone shot, actually. I think that Sushi is just trying to mix up options, maybe try to keep Jake on his toes, too. Yeah, but now they're both in the yellow, and those slices from Waluigi can be really scary once he's at the net, but they're deciding to retreat. Man, these angles from across court. Wow, I didn't court even know he could, yeah, I didn't know he can go that far. Okay, here's a special. All right, get ready for that base amp, guys. All right. Boom. But gets it again. Another one! Keep doing it. <laughs> Another one! <laughs> That's four in a row if you're keeping track at home. Okay, look, okay, he makes it look easy to do. It is not easy to do, guys. <laughs> like, I cannot stress this enough. <laughs> Man, that's like Jake's only way of like, or like, yeah, that's one of the, yeah, one of the ways he can push offense, but he can't. Yeah, but like I said, uh, Spike is more of a baseline character. He relies more on his strong shots from the back of the court, but yeah. Waluigi can use that time to react and not really much that Jake can do other than use those specials. I think maybe at some point, like, Atsushi will mess up, but after four in a row, you just kind of think, like, I don't know if this is going to work. Yeah. Definitely discouraging him from probably doing it again. Yeah. Oh, gets a lunge. Okay. No dead zone, though. Yeah. Yeah, so this is uh, Mario Tennis Aces, guys. So sometimes yeah. uh, the points sometimes, will go. Sometimes, sometimes yeah. Yeah. I mean, back, back in the day when it was even harder to score, like... Oh, yeah, like, yeah. trust me, back in 1.0 against the Waluigi back then, no way. 
Oh my gosh. Come I on, man. I am so upset right now. Why are you so good? But look at him. He's down on meter. Yep. This is Jake's chance. Or at the very least, it looks like someone will be scoring soon. And this might do it. Doesn't get the dead zone, though. Oh, and a lob. That's a plenty of time for him to try and react to a shot. Yeah, he's going to get his meter back, I think. No, but still, Jake is working it back up. He might be able to build it back up. And even though he's been blocking all these specials, like, there's still such a strong option. So if Jake can get it first, but man, already back in the green. Yeah, here it goes. Will he get it this seventh right. time, is it? <laughs> what is it? Like, I think he's done it like five times. Going for six? No. Oh, okay. Decides to finally aim right at him so that he can't trick shot it. Right. And Jake actually takes the lead. Okay, yeah. We're talking so much about how great the defense is, but it's actually Jake that has been playing better defense. Mm -hmm. All righty. Yeah, both of these two. Yeah. <laughs> Both of them halfway meter. I know. Doesn't look like either of these two are going anywhere soon. Yeah, I mean, the thing about this type of matchup is that there's not as much to say about it. Like, the defense of Waluigi is super strong. Um, Spike's defense not as good, but like he likes to stick back, so he has time to react. It's really just going to be those little itty bitty mistakes that are going to result in points. Yeah, instead of like a sword and shield fighting each other, it's like a, a, a shield and a shield like <laughs> bumming heads the whole time. Yeah, like they're going to be these little dents, but it's going to take a while for that shield to actually crack. Mm hmm. But here's something. Yeah, it is very interesting. I, did you watch uh, the first set that they that these two played? Yeah, he didn't play Waluigi. Atsushi played um, Yoshi and Birdo. Oh, okay, interesting. Yeah, he's definitely mixing up the the character diversity here just by himself <laughs> alone. Everybody in the back uh, following Waluigi and doing his sound during the special shot. All right, there's the moonwalk. He's still spitting, so he has to use up all that meter to get to the other side. Yeah, yep. once again, meter is low. Another point should be coming soon. Or maybe not. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Yeah. I mean, while most people would peg Jake as being an offensive beast, it's really his defense that allows him to get his offense. So even in those type of situations, he still stays strong. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's uh, very interesting to see the spike as well. I mean, it's working out so far yeah. uh, for Jake. Like he's, he's at least getting uh, some more points, and he's got himself a lead. Ooh, got the knockback. That's yep. the power in play. Uh, sets up a perfect trick shot, though, immediately. Yeah, if I'm him, go for the special. You got him at the other side of the court. Maybe even if he does a side trick, he might not be able to reach it if you angle it right. Oh, oh my, goodness my God! Gracious. Okay, well, he got it. He got uh, it again, he's, guys. Uh, he's, you know, what's that? Like six? I think it's six. I'm gonna call. Keep tabs at home. Keep chaps in the chat. I'm gonna call Atsushi the <laughs> the trick block monster. He really is. I mean, he's right. fighting back, man. He wants to make it so it's a Japan-only grand finals and Ooh. ties it up. Yeah, really threw off Jake on where he was gonna go with that. It looked like. Oh. oh! Once again, just kind of like these angles, he's not expecting it, and Jake slides through. Yeah. I guess that sushi kind of got stuck in like a certain flow. And then, oh, okay, zone shot. This angle's pretty nasty. Gets the trick block. First one that Jake's been able to get for a while. Yep. Gonna go all the way back. Ooh, Ooh that's a lob. Really strong. Oh, not a lot of. Oh, oh the, the net. net! Okay, yep. There it is. Yeah, yeah that, that that's net. what we're talking about. It always uh, hinders Jake. Yeah, at some point, it's going to hit him. Yeah. Okay, but now Jake low on meter in the red, so as soon as she can play a little bit more. But once again, these like yeah, little lapses in judgment. Yeah. Like every single point that he scored on at sushi, I'd say that in most cases, he wouldn't make that mistake. Yeah. It's a very interesting dynamic, this match. Like, we see, for the most part, Atsushi is, like, 98% great, and then that 2% shows up, and he loses a point. Mm -hmm. it. Yeah, it might be uh, it might be just, like, points of exhaustion. Because oh, yeah. it is uh, pretty, uh, a pretty deep bracket so far. That's true. I mean, he's had to play against so many great players, and now he's choosing a character where it's like, yeah, I'm going to stall you out. But he has to have the mental fortitude for it as well. Yeah. Yeah, he's going to be down 4-3 so far. All right, Jake going for these angles up at net. But the lob sends him right back. Yep, losing up a lot of meter. Both of them in the red. I, I want to expect a point, but now when I know that, yeah, they're, they're just getting yeah, back the meter gonna, now. Yeah, they're just getting back the <laughs> It's meter. like, psych! Yeah, because whenever Atsushi feels that uh, Jake is on the offense, he lobs it back, and there's not much that Jake can do about it being Spike. Yeah. Yeah, this is a... Uh, this is, as a TO of uh, Mario Tennis Aces 2, this is probably the, the hardest part, is that yeah. you know that these sets can go on for a while. There's no timer in uh, Aces, of course. No timer in tennis, man. Yeah, and the, the, the most uh, legit rule set we've used so far 
um, has no KO. I guess that could speed things up, but then that really shifts the meta. Like, yeah. Waluigi would probably be top tier if there was KO be, losses. Yeah, like, if you like this type of gameplay, then making Racket breaking legal would pretty much provide a lot of this. Oh, it goes over Both his head. Ties it up. Okay, yeah. Only three more points, and someone can win this match. So he's trying to use the angles of Spike to throw him off, and he does there, but... Sushi's just so good at positioning himself where he doesn't have to worry about it too yep. much, even if he does lunge. Mm -hmm. All right, there's a lob. Goes right into it. I always love that little squeaky sound that uh, Spike makes when he's yeah, doing Spike's the trick shot. Yeah, Spike's freaking adorable. Yeah. Oh God, I'm not going to lie. He's mm -hmm. really dang cute, but he's bouncing around everywhere. Yeah. Sushi moving up to net, expecting a lob from Jake, but it, Jake st stays strong. Most players, what they would do is that they would lob, and then he would just go for the special with the strong angle. But instead, Jake just continues to attack. But the slice finally gets through, and Atsushi, I think for the first time in quite a while, yeah. gets the lead. Mm -hmm. He really had to play at the net there, but he finally got the opportunity to actually get something started. And the thing is, I don't really know what Jake can do. If you were to lose this game, and it goes to a game three, like, last game situation, like, I'm not really sure what Jake could do, because, like, this has been his best chance yet, and he's still not really finding cracks. Yep, still at the net. Okay, finally going to go for the, for the lob that time. Ooh, big lunge. Mm-hmm. Forces out a lot of meter from Jake as well. Look like they're both still fine. Doesn't look like either of them is really going to let up now. Trying to make some plays, though. You say that you saw that uh, fully charged lob. Very interesting uh, option coming from Atsushi. Yeah, he's trying to mix it up because, like, at some point, like, one of these shots has to get through him. But, like I said before, Jake's defense has been really outstanding. Yeah. It's only been these specials that have thrown him off guard. Mm -hmm. Jake also, like, adapting to the immediate slice to the other side. It looked like it was tripping up Jake earlier, but he's been able to get the response. And once again, utilizing uh, Spike's small frame, hitting it over him so he has to adjust himself. Yeah. And here he goes. This is Waluigi's chance with those slices of his. Maybe he can score a point here. Uh, nothing so far. Yeah. Uh, Atsushi actually hasn't been... Okay, never mind. I was going to say he hasn't been gaining a whole lot of meter, but he got the rally bonus on yeah, top that of that, too. Yeah, that was one too. of Jake's better opportunities to score a point on him, but it just hasn't happened. Yeah. A lunch comes in. Nothing much going to happen out of it. Oh! Okay. God, and once again, like, just these... Random instances where, like, yeah, I'll just let that go through. And it's tied up. Two more points for either of these guys will uh, end the match. Mm -hmm. Yeah, going back and forth this time around rather than the dominant match that the Waluigi had the first time around. Yeah, very different. And, ooh, he does have Spike spinning around, so he might be stunned I too think, much. Yeah, I think he would go for the hard angle probably. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think he's going to get that. Well, maybe. Never mind. Never mind. Well, he no way. Flat. Yeah, okay, nothing yeah. to do about that. And now at Sushi, match point. Mm -hmm. I, I think he really didn't want him at match point, but yeah. uh, he decided to go for it. Risk it for the biscuit. Yeah, but now Jake does have the meter advantage, going up to net, trying to start something. Gets the lob. Nothing Waluigi can do. We have yeah. do you see one him? better way to make this match go longer. Am I right? Yeah, I mean, did you see him run? He's like, <laughs> <laughs> He's like oh, well, I got I to gotta let it go. Like, wow, wow. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. All righty, here we go. I mean, Despite everything, oh. look at this guy. Yeah, he's got the, the angle. meter advantage. Mm -hmm. He's decided to go after it, and maybe, maybe he might be able to take it right here. Let's see if he can utilize his range. He's still oh, that oh. Lob. no, back that, trick, back trick. Oh. That uses so much meter. A big mistake from Jake. And yeah, it's gonna set this back into neutral real quick. Yeah, that might cost him the deuce. Yeah, and just like that, a sushi back to full meter. Yeah, he had I mean, such a big opportunity again. with that. Yeah. So this might be back to deuce. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Really cost a really cost a potential game there. Yeah, it really uh, did. I mean, Jake needs to get whatever he can against this Waluigi. If he loses this game, like, man, he would have to make a three-game comeback against this. Yeah, that's a very thing tough thing to do. I guess some other thing you could do is like trying to make him as tired as possible. I don't know, like. <laughs> yeah. Just like outside the game. <laughs> I mean, play him a lullaby. Have, yeah, he did have to go through like so many different plays and stuff. So it's like after a while, it gets so mentally draining. And now both of them are at full meter. I, I don't know when a point's coming. I'll yeah, be neither, with you guys. neither do I. Yeah. Both staying, okay, here comes the special. Okay, Atsushi's making a move. He's making, <laughs> go. 
He stalks his prey. Very he goes in at the net. Okay. Oh! Body shot. Body shot. Oh, no. That, there's no way he meant he meant for that to happen. <laughs> yeah, when you aim it down like that, you might have a chance of messing him up, and he walked into the ball. That really sucks, actually. And now, once again, at Sushi on match point. Oh, but a big lunge. Yeah, uh, especially when you get your opponent to do a back trick like that. It, ha it has to be a guaranteed flat, so it makes it really easy to react to. But Asushi outside the range, so that was an opportunity for him to gain a lot of meter. Didn't nice quite lob. find it. Now he's at zero meter. Oh, but he doesn't get the double tap flat. That would have maybe got him a point and brought it back to Deuce, but instead it's going to keep going. That was a really big mistake by Jake. Yeah. Oh, doesn't get dead zone. Okay, uses up the zone speed. Oh, big lunge. Goes to the other side. No, he stays on the same side. That really, that tricked me and that tricked Jake too. Yeah. Oh no, he stutter stepped a little bit. Now he has no meter. Both of these guys have no meter. Yeah. They're just really going at it still. Neither of them want to let up. They don't want to give up their position. And especially at Sushi where he can potentially take this next game. Yeah, I think at this point his idea is just get the special and then maybe able to get it at a strong enough angle. But once again, having to use a lot of meter just to get that lob. Yeah. Another lob. Counters the slam. He's fine. Gaining the meter. Now both of them are back at full meter, basically. Yeah. He even got the rally bonus as well. Atsushi looking like he's going to try and stay in the blue. There we go. When is that special shot going to come out? That's the main question. Jake still at it on the defense. Going to try and start making him go all over the court. And what's scary is, like, you would think, like, okay, maybe this is now Jake's time to special shot. But we've seen so many times the special shot might not even be the right option because Atsushi's just so good at trick blocking them. Oh, man. Ooh, the back trick. All right, he's ready for it. A 100-point rally. Man, the rallies have been going a lot longer now these days. Oh, yeah, I, I can imagine. He gets the fully charged drop, trying to throw him off. Goes for the special. He does have Waluigi close up to the net, so he might try to aim it towards the back of the court. There's that base. He got oh another one! <laughs> I'm you so might upset. have heard that. He said slam the table in absolute disbelief. <laughs> he got that one. Yeah, I'm such a bad player, guys. All right, here we go. <laughs> Goes in with another slam. Yeah, he's, he's still got no meter to work with. Slowly bailing it back up. Oh, big mistake. This can be a really strong shot. Okay, he's, he uses his own speed to be able to counter it. Not going to be pushed back or spinning around. Oh, does get that side trick. I thought he might have missed it for a second. Perfect trick. It's just one more point, and Atsushi might be able to take this game and set it to a game three, up 2-0, but Jake just won't go down. Oh, he goes going to oh. the... Oh, what happened? And in a rare case, he just stormed the net, sliced at him like 50 times, and Jake just couldn't handle it. Boy. <laughs> at Sushi up 2-0. Man, I doubt he's going off the Waluigi after getting two games on Jake. Oh, man. I, I feel like... Jake especially is very easy to see visibly, like how he's yeah, how he's he, feeling the in the moment. He, the second that game was over, he reared his head back, like, oh my gosh, goes yeah. back to the peach. Mm -hmm. We're sticking with Waluigi. Okay. Yeah, what, so what what stage we're going to though? Probably back to grass. Yeah. Yeah. So I mean, Atsushi won this a lot easier in game one, but like, I'll keep saying it, peach and grass, like this is what Jake wants. Mm -hmm. But like, Atsushi's just playing too good. And this is it for NA. If Atsushi wins this, then it's a Japan Grand Finals. Yep. Oh, man. Is, uh, I'm getting deja vu. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but here we go. Let's see. Going to try to utilize the really strong angles of Peach to get it past Waluigi. But the positioning has just been too good. Ooh, zone oh, shot. zone shot. OK, interesting. Oh, no meter for Jake. He's got to watch out. Yeah. Asushi's got plenty to work with. Lob? Yeah. Going to force out a lot more meter, too. Yeah, forcing Jake to be on his toes. But he's keeping up his defense. He's fine. Just needs to gain up that meter again so he can be in a little bit more of a safer position. Oh, but that lob is so good. It forces him way far back. Yeah, very good timing. Knew he could get that opportunity. Ooh, goes for the back trick. Okay. Oh, oh, he gets dead zone. Dead zone, yeah. First point goes to Atsushi. Gets him nice on the serve, too. Very nice. Obviously, the game told him so. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect trick shot, okay. Keeps himself in. I mean, 
it would be so crazy if Atsushi wins this game and the loser run that he's had so far to be able yeah. to go up against Zeno, his fellow Japanese player. Yeah. I mean, that would be crazy for him. I'm just so me mesmerized by, the, I don't know, like I said before, it's pretty hypnotic. I'm like losing my concentration just looking at the ball go back and forth. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's what people go to tennis for. Like, you just <laughs> see your head turning back and forth trying to watch the ball, see the next play. Yeah. And I mean, despite like, you know, we've been doing this for a while and, oh, well, nice dead zone right there. Yeah. You, you've been doing this for a while and it's like, man, these rallies are so long and these guys, like the ball, you can barely get the ball past them, but like you really have to be thinking like every single point. Yeah. Like, where the ball's going, what's gonna be the right counter. And it takes a lot to be able to call out these shots like one after another. Yeah, I think especially when you are uh, a player of the game, that you appreciate like their decision making much more than like mm -hmm. as like a as a typical spectator. So, but I hope we get, hopefully you guys uh, have a better understanding of like uh, the decision making that goes in with every shot. Uh, yeah, as with us uh, explaining it to you guys. Yeah, because like we stated at the beginning of this, like each of these shots have their own counter. So they've had to get the correct counter on these for the majority. Of these matches, mm -hmm. so yeah, and then I mean, they it have takes to, mm -hmm. and then they have to think about like the positioning, like how could that force them to go into another place afterwards, right. while also making sure they're staying in range and not getting lunges either. Exactly. Like like right there, got, got a lunge. Not gonna really drop anything either though. Jake has the ability to get the special. Sh ah, both of these two players now. And Alrighty, the there it is. The rose is out. Atsushi caves. Let's see if he gets the point, or if he's gonna get a meter reset. Goes right at him over the head. Okay, there's the block. Stuck in the spin animation. It has Got enough meter to get it. Should be fine. Yeah. Oh, and a, oh, and a lunge. He's out of range. Yeah. It's, that's actually the point. Got to cost him big time. And now a big meter advantage for Jake. If he can get the angles that he requires, he might be able to get some pass at Sushi. But once again, like just look at the patience. Yeah. And now it's volleyball. <laughs> just hitting it up in the air at each other. Hoping to get it over the head of one of them. And All right, once again, another special. This Wait, I blinked. How, how did he get back his meter already? <laughs> a lot crazy. of lobs, I'll tell you that. Oh my god. Interesting ball placement. I think he's trying to. F okay, he got the pushback at least. That forced up a lot more meter than usual, I feel. Who reads the lob, and that is a strong flat. And I gotta say, this is very impressive because like we I've said before, Waluigi is not a top tier. Yeah. Waluigi is actually pretty mid-tier. Most players, they can't really do this with Waluigi. Yeah. Either the angles are too strong or the movement just doesn't work out for him. So what he's doing right now is actually really impressive tier list wise. Yeah, remember like when Waluigi got nerfed while he was already bad? Yeah, <laughs> like, like he kept getting nerfed. Like he's been nerfed so many times. Kick him while he's down, But man. like it shows that if you're a Ooh. good enough player like Atsushi, you can really make him work. And like yeah. think about all those specials that he had to block. Like if he had one of those points missed, I think Jake would have won game two. Uh huh. It takes a lot to be as good of a Waluigi player as Atsushi is being right now, especially yeah. against the best Peach in NA. Mm -hmm. Oh wow! Just let it go right past him. Yeah, that's an example of Peach's angles being too strong for Waluigi. Yeah. You think that you can get it, but you can't. Okay, the lob goes in. Kind of tricked up Jake. All right, maybe goes into the maybe goes for a deep angle on the other side. Yeah, that's what I'm predicting. He's all the way over yeah. to the left. Actually, mm -hmm. hits it right in the middle. Alrighty. Gets the block, but right. oh, he's spinning really far away from the ball. Even yeah. if he gets this, that's quite a lot of meter gone. Yeah, meter reset for for both of these two at least. Ooh. That's his chance. Yeah, if you can get Peach to low meter, she's really slow compared to like the other princesses. And he's so. already got another special on deck. Oh my God. You're right. He got perfect tricks. He got fully charged shots, and this is gonna be a lot harder for Jake to get back. Okay, I think uh, this might be the point. Yeah, that's oh, the point. And this has been the big difference between the two. Is that I don't think Jake has gotten any trick blocks on these special shots. Meanwhile, Atsushi has been perfect. Mhm. Mm I think he may have gotten one, but like it's very significant that Atsushi is better at uh, keeping himself clutch with those perfect trick blocks. Yeah. And I mean, slowly but surely, like only three points away is Atsushi from winning this set 3-0. A, di a difference between the winner's semi set. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, no. See you later, picked the wrong. Yeah, picked the wrong towner. 
push far back on that. And once again, Atsushi's close to getting another special. If he can just get Peach off balance, that might be another point for Atsushi, and then we'll be on set point. All right, the slam to the other side. Both of them at full meter. Mm -hmm. Hey, Jake's really got to dig deep. He's been keep. I feel like he's been keeping him up with Atsushi rather than like trying to condition something from Atsushi. So yeah, it's I mean, really difficult for him to start offense. There's not much that he can do right now in terms of offense because his defense has just been stellar. Like he hasn't been in great positions to get the angles that he needs, and he keeps getting spun out or special yeah. shot. And this is it. This is it for Little Billy Jake. This is it for North America. Last chance for him to stop a grand finals from being Japan only, but. This special might clinch it since he's spinning around. Right down the middle. <laughs> he's just going to go for a, a standard block. Going to be spinning off. All right, and flat to the other side. Should be able to make it. Yeah, yeah I would have gone for a drop right there. Mm -hmm. but. Ooh, gets oh, the lunge. right on the other side. No meter for Atsushi, actually, this time around. That's pretty significant, but the lob, that's going to give him plenty of time. Come back around, yeah. And just like that, he's back. Oh, and a big lunge. That's going to be a lot of meter. Once again, and he's so far back. That might be it. Oh, yeah. He has to go he's back up to the charge. front. Okay. He's get more. The zone shot. Interesting choice. Barely enough meter to come back. But what's the option charged. after? Another one. The double. Oh, Doesn't too early. Is that, Is that out? out? No. Oh, it's not. It's right on the line. Oh, oh but the later. push That's back. That's going to do it. Little bit shake is out. As you see, once again, with a strong fist bump. Look at him go. Yeah. I mean, once again, even though it was 3-0, that was a long, hard-fought 3-0. So yeah. both of these guys are done. Yeah. They're drained. Very stoic pop-off. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. Yeah, Atsushi, very happy with that one, I'm sure. Repping Japan, all Japan Grand Finals. Can I get some Fs in the chat for NA? <laughs> F in the, F in the chat. Actually, the entire West. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty true. Oh, my God. All the EU players are like, well, if I was there. Yeah. <laughs> Devil Wolf, I know you're in the chat. You're yeah, going like, oh, well, if I was there. I the Devil Wolf probably being like, oh, you know what? I think me and uh, Ben Nom Nom can take him. <laughs> ben Nom Nom can take him. Why don't you blow yeah. us out there, man? Oh, my God. All right. You're out there, guys. <laughs> All righty, well. Chat. But this is, it. this is grand finals. At Sushi, and I don't think he's going Waluigi again. Oh, yeah. I, th I think that's going to be it for the Waluigi. I feel like Zeno knows how to play against Waluigi because there are so many great Waluigi players in Japan. I'm blanking on the name. I think Zombie might be his name, but he's an amazing Waluigi player that's over there. Mm -hmm. um, so he's used to that uh, play style. So I'm predicting either the Luma or maybe because they got both in Japan, maybe they'll just like have a little bit of fun. He'll go Rosa, his true main. Yeah, we'll, we'll see. see. Mm -hmm. Oh, man, we're approaching grand final. Okay, we're running relatively on time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we went from 11 to 2. I think that was our uh, predetermined block. <laughs> so yeah. as long as we're not going past that. Actually, I think Smash uh, usually goes past that even more most of the time than expected. Yeah, see, not longer than Smash. There you have it. Mm -hmm. you just heard uh, Double checking oh, everything. Oh. Yeah, you see Jake behind yeah. me. He's just right. trying to talk it out like, man, that was <laughs> pretty yeah. hard. Oh, wow. Whew. Oh, I wonder what Atsushi's going to get. Or maybe a break because. Maybe uh, a break because <laughs> I'm yeah, going to take a break. Very long after set. After that. Mm -hmm. That was ridiculous. All I long mean, sets. I mean, he threw out the peach, he threw out the spike, he threw out yeah. the peach again, and it just it didn't work out for him. Mm -hmm. I mean, give it up again to to Jake for a very hard Absolutely. fought battle for the NA. I mean, once again, he's probably scored more points on Zeno than anybody in NA ever has. Yeah. So, I think so, too. I mean, that was huge. Once I think again, one, one of, if some of our greatest NA players like Angie could have come, maybe we'd see something different, but. I mean, for what we had, this is a really great showing for NA, I'd say. Yeah, definitely. Uh, there, was a, there was a hope, but uh, not quite today. But there we go. Now these two players are ready. All right, great. Ooh, ooh. All right, so I'm trying to remember. I mean, they did play at Heart of Battle uh, twice, I believe, in Winner's Finals and in the Grand Finals. Zeno took them both, I believe, both 3-0s. Yes. I think I that, for the most part, Zeno does have Atsushi's number. <laughs> yeah. I, 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 like, like he has everybody's number. Yeah. Uh, so I mean, I'm I mean, expecting we'll Zeno to see. win, but I mean, think about, I mean, think of the loser's run that Atsushi has had right now. 2-1 versus JJ, 2-1 versus Aibu, a really hard-fought 3-0 against Jake. Like, he's probably drained, but he's also 
but he must be excited to like get this chance. Yeah, it's like half half momentum, half uh, half drain. So we'll have yeah. to see. Can he get some more adrenaline rush pumping in before yeah. uh, he finishes off? Hey, and there's a, he took off his jacket. So there's a, the Aces champ, the Aces champion the polo. Aces champion polo coming the out <laughs> in grand finals. That's how you know that this guy is at the top of his game when he breaks out the polo. Oh champion. yeah, guys, I'm actually sponsored by uh, Nintendo. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's why he comes to these tournaments so often. Just kidding. I don't yeah. think so. Who knows? Well, I mean, he is going to be bringing home a nice prize <laughs> alongside yeah. Atsushi getting first and second. So, mm -hmm. I mean, depending on how this goes. All right. I, I'm curious to see what the character is going to be. <laughs> Look at Atsushi's face. He, he's got to think because, like, once again, Zeno, best player in Japan. Like, this is a big play for him, too. Mm -hmm. Like, not many people are expecting Atsushi to take it here. If he could maybe take a couple games, that'd be really huge for him. I'm expecting Luigi from uh, Zeno. At mm -hmm. Sushi, I'm expecting Luma. Maybe Waluigi again. <laughs> I don't know. But I don't know if my if I could take it. <laughs> Man, it's such a shame that all the new characters are kind of uh, kind of getting shafted. <laughs> That's right. I mean, hey, we, let's see. All the, of all the DLC characters that we've gotten, we've seen. I think Diddy Kong. Uh huh. Luma, PD, and that's it. <laughs> yeah. No fire piranha plant and the Waluigi. Alrighty. He's bringing it out. We got the can we got the cannon. Uh, cannon battle. Oh yeah. Fun fact for all you that at home. Did you know that Waluigi was not supposed to exist? But the only reason was because Wario needed a doubles partner for tennis. Yeah, so like I said. <laughs> like I said, Waluigi is basically the main character of Mario Tennis, despite <laughs> yeah. the name. I know. Like he originated here. This is his place of being. This, this is, is where he is his strongest. That's why he has that assist trophy. That's why he has a tennis racket. That's they true. they knew. <laughs> Alrighty, but we're gonna go ahead and start things off. Now, I'm interested to see, because, like, Jake just couldn't break the defenses of Atsushi. What's Zeno going to do to mix it up? Right, there's a back trick. And there's a lob. Yeah, I think that's something that I don't remember Jake doing too often was lob. Lobs are actually really good against Waluigi because it stops the pressure of the slices. Uh -huh. So I think uh, we might see that a lot more from Luigi. Mm -hmm. I don't know how Zeno does it, but he just makes Luigi look so quick on the court, you know? He does. Like, he looks like he's covering all the options so well. And once again, Luigi, his pivot isn't that good, but he's m maneuvering in such a way that makes it work. Yeah. Okay. Now, here's a special, but, like, we already have seen how specials go against that sushi, so let's see where he aims it. Straight down. Oh. oh okay. Yeah, but aiming it straight down makes it harder to trick block. I mean, he could have done a front trick there, but maybe the timing would have been off a little bit more. Right. All right, another lob forces out some meter. Getting the side tricks on those lobs is Zeno. And like his, I think his goal is just going to be able to get those specials to yeah. keep Atsushi on his toes. I, there yeah, it is. OK, there and it is. I'm expecting another straight down shot. Mm -hmm. Giving Waluigi a taste of his own medicine, man. Yep, here it is. OK, that time he gets the block the on it. Got the block, but it might take him quite a bit to get over there. Yeah, yep. pretty much even meter now. Yeah, but look how far back he is. Yeah. These angles from Luigi might be pretty nasty. Man. <laughs> oh, right oh, over Oh, okay. Zeno. Yeah, raw, raw mistake, or rare mistake, excuse me. All right, there's another lob. Oh, volleyball. Yeah. <laughs> the imaginary net is much taller now. Yeah. Okay, both of them very high on meter, both trying to work to those specials. You see that Zeno has been doing so well, and this is what Waluigi has trouble with. Ooh. Ooh. An interesting choice, but you can just special those. Although the angle is not going to be as good as Zeno would have liked. Look how far back he is. Yeah. And he gets the front trick, and now Zeno has to work his way back up. What a good call by Atsushi. Yeah. Now Zeno has so little meter to work with and right now. I think that's shot. it. Never and mind. <laughs> oh, my gosh. These guys are so good. <laughs> yeah. He's like, oh, you're going to try to trick block me? Ah, oh, nah, no, nah, nah, I don't nah, think nah. so. You forgot who you're playing against. Yeah, and just like that, Zeno got brought back all of his meter. Atsushi's still a little bit behind, but he's doing fine so far. Yeah, man, it's, it's like one of those things where it's like, oh, I have, a, I have such a great idea. And yeah. then you, you try mean, to execute so it. He was smart. He got all of his meter down. It looked like he had it set, but Zeno was just too good. Yeah. It's like nothing's guaranteed in Aces. Yeah. And look, like that's an example oh, of the angles okay. just being too much for Waluigi. Mm -hmm. Luigi's angles and volleys are actually really strong. Maybe even, I mean, at the very least, Zeno knows how to utilize them much better. Another interesting zone shot. Yep, all right, just goes to the net. Oh, actually, hopefully they did set their controls because something that had to be changed was 
Uh, if you hold down the ZR button, it can both be zone speed and zone shot. Uh -huh. So most players change that so they don't fall into this problem of getting zone trapped, as oh, we call yeah. it. Mm -hmm. So my hope is that he did change his controls before this and that these are purposeful zone shots and not mistakes. Yeah, I think so. Like, it kinda, I feel like it would be because uh, I think they, they check their controls every time they go in. So. Yeah, they seem very method about it. Yeah. So. Yeah. Oh, and against oh, the dead zone, okay. first point against Zeno. Yeah, the 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 zone traps definitely was a thing when you couldn't set your controls, but then Camelot was like, yeah, that's probably a good like, idea. Yeah, that's kind of like broken. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, top level play back then, you'd see zone traps a lot. Yeah. Players Ooh. at the top level would utilize them to great effect. Um, but right now, uh, Zeno taking a 3-1. Mm -hmm. Ooh, the... The the flat to the other side. Caught off Sushi a little bit off guard, but Zeno's got the angle possibly. Ooh, aims it right at him. Back trick, no problem, but now he has to react to all these shots. Mm -hmm. I wonder if uh, Atsushi last night was just practicing every single possible way to trick block something. I wouldn't be surprised. I wouldn't be surprised. I guess he had the Waluigi in the pocket, worked on it last night. Because like I said, I mean, he's coming from losers. He lost to Jake, but there was no Waluigi in sight. He kept this in his pocket. Yep. No Luma, no Rosalina. This is... All from the pocket. The pushback. Okay, he couldn't. He couldn't have enough time to to drop shot it though. <sighs> yeah, that's actually doing a good job on the survivability actually. Yeah, you but see. even still, he's had, he has to use a lot of meter just to stay in it because the volleys from Zeno have been very strong. Yeah, I, we've rarely seen any uh, special shots from uh, Atsushi actually. Yeah, it's true. It's really been Zeno that's been taking it to the offensive. And that's what I do like Zeno as a player, is that while he does have amazing defense, he is primarily focused as an offensive player, going for these great angles and volleys. Mm -hmm. And here's Alrighty. the special once again. Mm -hmm. And like, it's just so interesting. I want to see where he aims it, because he's been mixing it up. Aims it straight down once again. Can't trick block it this time. So he has to survive all of this meter loss and can't yeah. do it full mm -hmm. one. Just decided to give it up. It doesn't have the positioning for it. So how do you beat someone that can trick block everything? Just can't. Don't let him trick block. Yeah. <laughs> Aim it straight down. Don't give him a chance. Volleyball once again. It's my goodness. Another one? Yeah. <laughs> mm hmm I mean, they just don't. I mean. Atsushi just doesn't want him to come up close because he's been doing such a good job moving up to net and hitting these slice volleys. Ooh, that's a really big uh, lob for Zeno there. Push back. Yeah, he's yeah, still in. Push back in a good angle, probably to the right, will likely take this point. Yep, there it is. Uh -huh. Right on the line. He doesn't even use gyroscope. He just uses the, the regular. Uh, yeah, that's the way that the I normally moving. do it. I yeah. feel like it gives you less chances for mistakes, but it doesn't give you as much free range motion. Yeah. But uh, he seems to use it to great effect. Mm -hmm. It's like in Splatoon because most of the time you want to use it to be able to snap towards your opponent. So a lot of people like to snap to a corner yeah. when they're using gyroscope. So it's a preference thing, not, the, not a make or break most of the time. So it goes for another zone shot again. I think he's trying to hit it over Luigi, but Luigi has decent height, so it doesn't happen too often to him. Yeah, he's a taller brother after all. Not not for Waluigi and Wario, but... Yeah, compared to Waluigi, not as much, but just enough to not have to worry about these zone shots. Yeah. Ah, oh, the lunge. So while Atsushi, he, I mean, he's been sticking strong, but point-wise, it's 5-1. Zen only needs two more. Ooh! <laughs> did you see that mix-up? Yeah. He changed his mind. I like, mean, once again, like, through. Zeno can't see the way he's aiming it. Mm -hmm. So I think that was like a personal mix up. Maybe. Yeah. I don't know. That was very interesting. He, he, like, he looked at it and he's like, nah, let's nah, go this way. So. <laughs> <laughs> and he did get the point off of it. So that's another point for Atsushi. Yeah. At least people can take points off him now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's something. Yeah, gods, don't, gods don't bleed, but he's, he, he, he's, it's he's got to cut. Close. Yeah. What? Oh, okay. How could this happen? <laughs> Un yeah, uncharacteristic miss, actually. I didn't even know that, that it could happen anymore. <laughs> yeah. I was, just, I was just accepting that it was going to be a perfect trick yeah, block. Yeah, I was ready. I was like, oh, you know, it's just a special, whatever. But yeah. he doesn't get it. Maybe it's finally starting to get to him. Mm hmm All right, match point for Zeno. Only needs three matches to take the tournament, bring it back home for Japan, and keep his status as most likely the best player in the world. All right, slide to the other side. So, like, for the first time, Waluigi has the meter to get a special. Yeah. And I don't really know if he can utilize it to great effect like Zeno has been doing. Yeah, I mean, I don't think Atsushi's done one special this this game, I don't think. Yeah, and once again, aims it straight down. No chance to trick block it. Yep. Has to take the stun. 
gets the perfect trick, but he gets one of his own. Yep. <laughs> that, was a, that was an interesting pattern there, just, yeah, uh, just cross, court cross court on T. Yeah. You might as well say that it was cross court chaos. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Another lob. Moves right back in. Volleyball once again, another zone shot, trying to throw him off guard. Oh, oh no, a net? Not the net, Waluigi, no! <laughs> Not the net. Oh, what a way to end it. But yeah. Atsushi's smiling about it, he knows. Mm -hmm. Zeno also cracking a smile. Mm, yeah. From his very story. I mean, both of these guys, once they're in the zone, they're like quiet, but they're great friends, and you can yeah. clearly see. Mm -hmm. It's very funny, because uh, in ARMS 2, uh, uh, one of the Japanese players, the one that was considered the best before he retired, he was—he like never smiled at all whenever he played. He was really? like, yeah, he was very stoic like Zeno. Zeno at least cracks a smile, but yeah. Pega, I like never see him like at all. Okay, so I mean, Zeno looking as strong as ever. Mm -hmm. Only needs two more matches to win the tournament. Yes. And I'm wondering, I mean, the Waluigi wasn't really the answer here. Could we see a character change? Maybe Luma, which is another one of his stronger characters. Try Dry Bowser. I just want to see Dry Bowser. <laughs> Try out Dry Bowser, the last character given. Yep. Uh, Friar Piranha Plant. <laughs> boom, 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 boom. The short-lived uh, S tier. Yeah. The first playable appearance of Pauline. Oh yeah, yeah. I remember that one. Yeah. That, that was a, that was a good DLC surprise for Pauline. Yeah. Well, it was funny because when uh, ooh, we're seeing the Rosalina, I think maybe. Ooh, changes the racket. He decided to switch over to left-handed, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Maybe to change up his uh, slices and throw Atsushi off. But well, yeah, like I was see. saying, Pauline, yeah. uh, when she came out originally, her name was in big, bold letters, as opposed to being like, kind of like how they are with Atsushi and Zeno's name. It was the only character that had like big, bold letters, so every single time they came up, everyone would just go, Pauline! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But here we go, the Rosalina comes out, this is Zeno's favorite, uh, not Zeno, Atsushi's favorite character. You go on his Twitter, it's all pictures of Rosalina. Yeah. <laughs> Big fan. Mm -hmm. um, but Rosalina considered a low tier um, in this game. Yep. So, and I'm pretty sure that Zeno knows how to play against him as we're seeing a quick Yeah, you, you can already see like the range is not quite there compared to Waluigi. Yeah, this is usually what Rosalina's try to do. They try to stick back in the baseline and get these charge shots rolling. Yeah. And then once they build up that meter, they just try to stay alive and then maybe use a special. Very similar to Waluigi, but also really different. You see a lot more movement. You see how back and forth uh, Rosalina has to go. Another yep. shot. Okay, let's see what we're going to do here. Get us for the block. What's the play going to be? Yeah, I believe uh, if I re if I recall correctly, out of all the tricky characters, Rosa has the the fastest movement while charging. Yes. So yeah, so she can navigate really well. Oh, but the range still again not quite there. <laughs> yeah, she does have good range and she can charge, but she doesn't have very many offensive capabilities similar to Waluigi. So uh, special is going to be the best chance. But once again, Zeno doing a great job throwing Rosalina off balance because she doesn't have the range that Waluigi has. Yeah. Ooh, uh, uncharacteristic. Lunge from Zeno. Brings it back though. Nothing too crazy. Right, okay, goes for the lob, yeah. Zeno was ready for it though. Yeah, like, like the main goal for Rosalina is to stay back, but Zeno can just play that game. He's played against Asushi enough to know how to play against Rosa, I'm sure. Yeah. Oh, but here you go. I think he's spinning a little bit from the fully charged uh, uh, slice. This might actually be a point for him. Mm. Can he get there? Yeah. Oh, no, there you go. All right. One, three. Rosa gets a point. I can consider that like five points because of the, the nature of the character. That's true. <laughs> yeah. Might as well be worth five. Oh, oh. the drop is too much on hardcore. Yeah. While well, Rosalina actually has really fast charging speed moving forwards, I guess just wasn't able to get there in time. Yeah. And this angle from the lob is going to make this special shot really hard for Atsushi. Straight down. Can't trick block it. Yep. Perfect trick shots it. Goes all the way across the court. Okay, we'll be able to reach it though. Yeah. Even though the rose is tricky, it's definitely the angles on the slices are definitely not as uh, bad as uh, say uh, Boo. Uh, Boo. Yeah. Yeah, Boo, the trickiest character in the game. His slices go all over the place. Yeah. Rosalina is a much more conservative in that matter. Mm -hmm. Definitely a, a, a noob killer. The yeah, Boo, Boo is. Sure. Yeah. We did have a Boo, uh, Nito, the guy that beat Pupe in pools and Smash. Oh yeah. Actually played some Mario Tennis Aces and got to top 16. So shout out to Nito. Yeah. Oh. Okay. I go for the for the lob here. Yeah, 
fully charged shots, as is Rosa's want. And you can see his meter is slowly but surely rising. Oh, oh. the dead zone. Yeah. Or Jimby Tech. Yep. All right. So sadly, the Waluigi is doing the best so far. <laughs> yeah. Like the range was definitely helping uh, Atsushi stay alive much longer. In this case, Zeno is just finding the holes where he needs to. And the drop. Okay, the lob. It right, goes for the, for the slam on the other side. And I, it's like, I feel like Atsushi keeps up, but then it's just like Zeno just makes a play and he's like, oh, I'm going to put it here. And then Atsushi's not ready for it, you know? Yeah, I mean, Rosa just doesn't have the offensive capabilities necessary to really get past this uh, defense from Zeno. Like we saw with Jake a couple of times, was able to trip him up because of the angles of Peach. Rosalina just doesn't have it. Mm -hmm. All the way to the back. Yep, there's the block. Rosa with no meter now. Zeno still has plenty to work with. It's going to be a fully charged shot, and now he's got special ready zone shot. Ooh, right down the middle. Ooh, too early. Yeah, now, there is there is health on the rackets if yeah, so you need it. Rackets do break, and they will result in a point if they do lose all three of their pips. It's just that it rarely happens because we see stuff like this at Sushi being so good at it. Yeah. Yep, still, uh, still continuing the defense, but uh, special shot. Yep. Yeah, and now this angle is going to be nasty. Atsushi has no meter to work with. This will likely be game two in favor of Zeno. Or it can be a god. You yeah, know, yeah, 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 never mind. Proves, uh, was, proves I, us wrong. I thought he just wasn't going to have enough time with the meter that he had, but yeah. he proved me wrong. Oh, but, but he couldn't make it with the drop, the drop shot. shot. All right, one game away is Zeno from taking Mario Tennis Aces here at Switchfest 2019. And I mean, I expect him to say, Luigi, is that Sushi going to try another character he, uh, with his humongous character pool that he seems to have? I almost want to yell up there for him to play Diddy just for the heck of it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so what does a Japanese Diddy look like? I mean, Toadette is considered, like, I think considered one of the best in the game right now. Who? Toadette? Uh, yeah, but the range difference and I don't know. I, I feel like with the way that Zeno plays, Toadette's going to be a risky pick. Mm-hmm. I mean, you're already down 2-0. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I think at this point, Atsushi's just going to – he might have fun with it. Yeah. But, like, I don't know. I think he also wants to win, I'm sure. So he's got he's got to find like, a good balance of, like, it's a character that I want to play but also might really stand a chance against yeah. uh, Zeno. Mm -hmm. And he has a chance to once again go through the bracket unscathed, no games lost, and showing the dominance of Mario Tennis Aces. I'm I'm sitting there in anticipation of the of the character. Yoshi? Yoshi? Okay. All right, back to the Yoshi. All righty. Now, he did play Yoshi against Jake um, earlier in the bracket. It didn't work out for him, but uh, maybe against Luigi it might be a bit different. He is, Yoshi is a top-tier character. He's kind of an all-arounder. Like, he has better speed, but he has great shot types. He can pretty much do everything. Mm -hmm. He does get first serve here on Savage C in what might be our last match of the day. And already I'm kind of seeing him playing similarly to how Ibu played him, staying at the T and yeah. using those angles. Mm -hmm. Even though there are different characters and they have different attributes, uh, like the, the play style among the, like, the same characters is usually uh, similar because you want to keep up with their strengths. Yeah. Same play trick. style. I think the hope with these front tricks is to call out a side trick, but I mean, Zeno, he's not wanting to falter like that. Yeah. Alrighty, another front trick. Yeah, <laughs> they're uh, not letting up so far. They're doing they're fine. Trading single tap top spins. Mm -hmm. Both of them have pretty good angles, so they can use them against each other to get lunges such as that. But yep. both of them actually have decent lunges um, in terms of like recovery time, so it won't even be too much of a problem for them. Now, what I want to see is I'm sure that Zen is going to be going for a special at some point. Does he know the timing for Yoshi like he does with Rosalina and <laughs> Waluigi? Oh, yeah. That would be something. Wow. This is a really fast rally, especially considering uh, where they are. Yeah, and now Yoshi gets a great angle on the special shot. All the way into the back. Oh, has to back up a little bit, but lobs it, forcing Asushi to use a lot of meter. But it looks like he might be able to get this point, but look at all this meter that Zeno's using. What's about shot going to be? Oh, he tries to go for the single tap topspin. 
Yeah, that was Asuchi's best opportunity to take a point and maybe even start to snowball, kind of like how we see, saw Jake do it earlier in the bracket. But yeah. instead, Zeno perfectly getting the meter back. Mm -hmm. And I'm very interested in, like, even though they're far back, they really don't go for um, drop shots as often. Right. Like fully charged drops. Because I feel like that would waste a lot of meter. But then again, the punish that the opponent has is actually pretty strong. So mm -hmm. I can kind of see what they're thinking. This is a relatively, this is a strong first rally uh, so yeah. far. Yeah, we're already at 120. And no, sco no points have been scored so far. Yeah, these guys are playing really well against each other. Uh, the Rosa definitely wasn't the right pick. Waluigi, he hung in there, but he didn't do quite enough. But the Yoshi is really holding his own. Yeah. At the same time, like Zeno, like getting the ball past him is just so hard. Yeah, there's a, uh, wow. Yeah, this is a really, really good defense uh, coming from Atsushi so far. Nice side trick. Oh, big lunge though. And oh that's yeah. Be the first point mm -hmm. going to Zeno. Yeah, the lunges from Yoshi are pretty bad, <laughs> all things considered, especially when they're the big deep ones like that. Oh, oh. Topton just gets right past him. A quick second point. In yeah. A big difference from that first point. Back to T, both of them go. He does have special, but he's opting not to use it. Mm -hmm. Slide the other way. Oh, here it is, and he looks like he's most likely spinning around, so this will be pretty hard for him. Yeah, pretty tough angle. Is he gonna get a net? No, oh, not quite. Course. Oh yeah. Why do we even ask? Why did we? Why did we doubt him? Even still, he's lost all of his meter now. The slices of Luigi are just really strong. Yeah. So, unless, oh yeah, he got the nice serve, good. Because if he wasn't careful, Zeno could have ran a train on him with his uh, volleys. Yeah. Look at these Oh, another big lunge. I think tier lists are gonna change quite a bit after this performance. I think people were doubting Luigi, but Zeno makes him look so strong. Yeah, very consistent, even throughout all the patches. Uh, although it's kind of like uh, it's not like uh, any character is like absolutely horrible. This is that you can still perform relatively well with them. So it's a question uh, of like if Zeno is super, super, super good. No, Kamek is in the game, <laughs> so considered F tier okay. by most people. Okay, well, uh, but yeah, that's for true. the most part, <laughs> twenty nine out of thirty ain't bad. Yeah, we'll take those. All right, Alrighty. special. This is going to be a really good angle, but I mean, right behind them. Yep. All right, but look at all this meter. That's what she has to waste. Doesn't go for the drop. Yeah, interesting. But gets this trick shot, and he gets a trick shot. All right, so it's like that never happened, basically. <laughs> <laughs> I guess so. Oh, oh but he calls him out. Got the yeah, dead zone. Yeah, dead zone. So while he's been playing a lot better within the points, it's a 4-0, three points away from ending the tournament. Yeah. Can't really close out the, the, the points, unfortunately. Back to volleyball. Fully charged slice. They're playing so strong. I'm, what I think Atsushi's trying to do there is he's trying to call out a side trick with those front tricks. Uh -huh. Trying to throw him off balance, get a Jimmy Tech, but I mean, Zeno knows. <laughs> yeah. Oh, thought he, was, he had the right idea, but uh, the angles. Atsushi trying to predict something, couldn't get the trick shot in time. And actually, that's actually something interesting that I'm seeing is that Zeno does mix up what he does on those lobs. Because what most people would do, they get into the star and they use those flats. But Zeno is mixing it up so often that Atsushi can't read it. So when he finally does go for that flat, it shocks him. Yeah. So much meter on Zeno's side. <laughs> yeah, this is looking, I'm going to be real, it's looking like curtains for a man at Sushi who made such a great run today. Yeah, I mean, second place ain't bad at all. Oh uh, yeah, <laughs> that's still taking a pretty pranny out of a $500 mm -hmm. pot, yeah. uh, prize Yeah, I, I think that was a lunch, so he might have to, we'll have to see. Gets it because okay. he's at Sushi. Yeah, he's, he's a god. <laughs> but now no meter, but he does get the perfect trick so he doesn't get the whack ball. Yeah. But Another lunge into a lob. Like he's, he's gonna be fighting for his life for a little yeah, bit. Yeah, Zeno really putting on the pressure right there with that. Gets the back trick, a special is, is looming as he's sitting in green, especially with this Ooh, fully charged yeah. shot. Right down the middle. Oh, there's the special. He's moving up. 
gonna wait for Atsushi to go for a lob when he's close to the net, and will likely go for a special in that case. But until then, he's content. He's got strong defense. He doesn't really have to worry about too much. Mm -hmm. He hasn't scored on him yet. I'm waiting for that special shot from Zeno. Anytime soon. He's approaching the net. Oh, oh. Right. he doesn't even need it. Oh, my God. Here's the toss and this is it. Final point, tournament point for Zeno here, ending it with a bagel. He's got the special charge. And he goes for the zone circle. Oh, he got it. it. He's like, no, no, no. It's you're like, not doing that to it's me. He's like, you're not doing that to me. You're not doing that to me. So that was a zone serve. That might have been the first time we saw a zone serve yeah, in the top six. Yeah, usually not very optimal at all. Like, you never see that happen and in high school. you can see play. why against players like this. <laughs> but still, he doesn't have very much meter to work with, and Zeno's still sitting at green. Yep. Expecting the special shot. He'll probably get it in a couple more hits. I'm going to feel it. Oh, but doesn't get the fully charged uh, slice there, so uh, Atsushi stays alive. Okay. He's still got a little bit of a chance to survive. Well, don't count him out yet. Okay, now I'm counting him out because the special shot's available. <laughs> yep. Nah, I mean, he's in the green. Even if he does special, he could return it. Yeah. I wouldn't mind Atsushi being able to get one point here. I don't want it to end in a bagel against him. <laughs> yeah. We can hope. Press one if you think that Atsushi can make it. Press two if you don't. <laughs> oh, God. I don't want to look back in the VOD and just see a row of twos. I don't oh, want to man. see it. Pray for Atsushi, guys. Atsushi, yeah. pray. Oh, yeah. If, you're, if you have that uh, emote, definitely use that. Yeah. But he's sticking strong, man. He's sticking in it. Yeah. He's not ready to falter. I mean, we saw him before. He was in match point against Ibu, and he was able to stay alive. He's going for it. Mm-hmm. All right. he's going for the special. Okay, here we go. A fighter till the end. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Well, oh, Ibu wow. Okay, Zeno giving him a taste of his own medicine there. Yeah, got the hat trick. Oh. Oh, oh and there it is. Okay. That's the tournament. Zeno takes a 3-0 over at Sushi. Doesn't lose a game, rolls through the bracket, and that will be it for Mario Tenisasis here at Switchfest 2019. Very nice stuff. Very, very proud of Zeno. Very, very good. Whew. Yep, and he like he's already dressed for the occasion. He's a champion. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Yep. So Japan first and second place. Yeah. Uh, third place we got Jake. Fourth place uh, Ibu. Fourth place uh, Ibu, and, and then, then Mike and, and JJ. Six. Yep. Sitting yeah. at fifth place. Mm -hmm. Very strong top six. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, shout out to all the all the players that came out today. Absolutely. Yeah. And uh, thanks for coming out to commentate. Thanks so much. <laughs> one of the, I, I this is like, oh man, this is this is such a great moment for MTA history. I feel. Oh yeah, this is easily the best offline we've ever had. Um, mm -hmm. So many great competitors. Thanks to everybody that uh, wanted to play MTA today. Like you were in your Smash bracket. Like oh, I'll give MTA a shot just because it was free. Yep. And uh, thank you for playing. Thank you for anybody who's watching right now. Um, if you want to know more, uh, join the MTA Discord. That's Mario Tennis Aces Club. Got over 2,800 people there willing to talk to um, yeah, talk and, uh, all about Aces. <laughs> and all the people that you saw in the tournament are from the Discord, and you can see them there. Yeah, I mean, we have uh, people from all time zones, so you're, you're always uh, available to talk to someone. And we do host tournaments as well. Jake hosts some bi-weeklies, I believe. Um, and then we do have uh, tournaments on Tuesdays and Thursdays, I believe, for both standard and simple. Yes, for those that don't know, there is a simple mode to this game. You don't got to worry about all the meter and the trick shots and all this craziness. It's just straight up tennis, shot for shot. Yep. So if that's more of your style. There's also simple mode tournaments as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but uh, Zeno, the taking yet yeah, another offline victory. Very proud of him. Very nice yeah, stuff. Very fantastic. I mean, showing why many people will call him the best in the world. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So uh, I don't know if uh, we're doing Pokemon next or what's actually uh, next on the schedule, but uh, looks like we're going to be switching gears, going into another game. Of course, this is Switch Fest, so we're going to have plenty of other games, and of course, we're going to have Ultimate later tonight as well, top 12. So you guys should stick around for that. But until then. I've been Sedge. I've been PK Kirby. And hope you guys uh, enjoy the rest of the show. All right. Thank you, guys.